All right, good stuff, Allie. Thanks. We've got two conference rivals squaring off tonight, Grant. I'm sure both teams have been eagerly looking forward to this one. Well, we always enjoy these rivalry matchups. I mean, facing a rival you've been battling in the rankings is always rewarding. And as a player, you get fired up and are ready to do whatever it takes to get the win. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. They've got Bradley Beal. Josh Okoge is out there with Kevin Durant. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's Nurkic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Golden State, the core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Now here's Booker. Stolen by Wiggins. Pass to Curry. Launches it. It's hauled in by the Suns. Outplayed in their previous game on their schedule. Losing to the Cavs. I really think that L has to fall on their defense or a lack thereof. Just not enough focus at that end of the floor. Some of it was solid shooting from their opponent, but they didn't have any teeth with their defense. Need to be more active than they were. Clock is at three. Here's Okogi. Three-pointer off the mark. Booker against Green. Outside Curry. Puts up a three. The shot no good. The Suns go the other way with it. Their last encounter was in Phoenix. Yeah, they barely got by this team in the last meeting. Rebounding was the big factor. Pass to Okogi. Oh, trying his luck from deep. They get it back. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Curry passes to Thompson. Back to Curry. From deep. That won't go either for Curry. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Outside Durant. Over Wiggins. That's good from Durant. On the assist by Beal. How many guys his size can pull up off the dribble and move like that? Durant is the real unicorn. Wiggins outside. Curry against Beal. Pass to Thompson. Golden State needs to get off a shot. That won't go either for Curry. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Well, these Suns have had a successful past couple of seasons. Yeah, B.A., I mean, they certainly know the greatness they're capable of. They can give you a lot of confidence out there on the floor, even against other elite teams. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Golden State calls timeout. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. They were lights out from beyond the arc, and they spaced the floor beautifully in that one. Tough to keep the consistency from deep, but they did it last time. Ten midway through the season. Here's a look at the Western Conference standings right now. You look at the Warriors. What a season thus far for them. Second place in the conference. And for the Suns. Just need to keep fighting. I think for the Suns, they hyped it up at the start of the year, but haven't really followed through. They're so disappointed. And really, so are their fans. Talking that talk is easy, but carrying through? Oh, that's a whole nother story. And the naysayers' predictions were basically on point. Green up top. Now here's Wiggins. He's closely guarded. He buries it from three. Getting this one to fall hopefully gets things rolling. Their first make out of five shots. Here's Okogi. Beal right side. Shoots over Curry. And another basket for Phoenix. I mean, capable of playing either guard position, Beal is especially difficult to contain in pick and rolls. Wiggins outside. That's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. Golden State basketball. And how about we check the numbers for him? Here's Thompson. Shot clock at five. Okogi pulls down the board. 
Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Curry with a steal. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Finally gets one to go. That makes him one for five in this game. Understanding where he needs to be. Curry way out ahead that time. Beal, the pass to Booker. Here's Okogi, pounded by Wiggins. Here's Okogi. The layup off target. Now here's Wiggins. Playing Orlando, he was nearly unstoppable. It was good to see Andrew Wiggins make his first All-Star team in 2022. For a player with such a great career, it was long overdue. Andrew Wiggins at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And it's tied up with that one. Yeah, the first overall pick in 2014, Andrew Wiggins has carved out a nice career as a scoring wing. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. So it's Phoenix now. Beal outside. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. And let's pause for a moment to recognize the teams with the best three-point shooting. The Warriors, number one. Having the shooters they have, the best three-point shooting team in the league, it opens up the whole court by stretching the defense out. Pass to Wiggins. Thompson with it. Shoots over Booker. Thompson's shot is off. And here's Booker, coming off a 34-point game against Cleveland. Here's Beal. Goes back up, and it's good on the lay-in. We all know Beal might be a shorter off-guard at 6'3", but Bradley has heart. He plays way bigger than that listed height. Now here's Thompson. A 17-point game for him in the win against Orlando. He's more than chipped in on the glass as well. Just a tremendous effort last time out. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. And here are the Suns now. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago. Pass to Beal. There's the three. Warriors with the rebound. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Green, the pass to Curry. And here is Thompson, Booker defending. Wiggins against Beal. Four on the clock. No good with the triple for Phoenix. They've gone four of nine in this one so far. Akogi on the wing, looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Nurkic. Over Wiggins. Shot by Nurkic. No good. Golden State is gone just one of six from downtown. Curry passes to Thompson. Here's Wiggins. 4-3. Kept alive. Here's the second effort. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Well, we're at the time of the calendar when some teams go through a mid-season lull. Graham, what has to be done to avoid that? Well, first of all, you have to keep your composure. You cannot panic. And, of course, this is when a coach earns his keep. Motivation becomes key. Keeping the players focused and making sure nobody starts coasting. The former home of the Warriors, Richard, Oakland. 
What was it like to play over in the East Bay? Listen, it was a lot more fun when I was playing in a Warriors uniform versus playing against them. Those crowds are insane. Maybe the loudest in the NBA, although the Boston fans might have a little bit of something to say about that. But I must say, this new building is gorgeous. Pass to Curry. The three is up. Sinks it from distance. Curry's got five. The minute that Steph Curry steps into an arena, he is in his range. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. Wiggins outside. Who poked away. Here's Okogi. He's covered by Curry. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Gotta be cautious guarding Beal because he's skilled at drawing contact while shooting. And look at this. This summer, a five-year extension for Bradley Beal. One of the richest contracts in NBA history. Over $240 million. Free throw drops for Beal, and he's certainly elite. But does it surprise you that Bradley Beal has one of the biggest contracts in the NBA, Grant? And that's just how it works. I mean, give it a few years, and all the stars will be paid the same. That said, <laughs> it must be nice. Those are some big checks. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. And Beal drops them both. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Golden State calls timeout. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something out that can get them a clean look at the basket. The Warriors leading. Thompson outside. Curry passes to Green. For three. That's good from Paul. On the assist from Green. The consistency of Paul's three-point shot is really something. He is a real troublemaker at the arc. Pass to Okogi. Here's Booker. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Thompson outside. Curry with it. Shoots over Booker. Curry, no good. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. Here's Durant. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. Look at Durant utilizing his length, snatching the offensive board. Ladies and gentlemen, he's seven foot and sending it right back. Pass to Thompson. Green with the ball. To the middle. Here's Curry. And that comes off the assist by Green. Curry's got seven points. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Here's Eubanks. Here's Okogi. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. This is Booker at his most dangerous. No hesitation right there. Pass to Curry. Thompson with it. An effective score for them, scoring around 21 and a half points a game. Just five to shoot. Here's Green. Oh, denied by Durant. A tremendous defender. Durant's length can cause major issues for the offense. Bowl, bowl. Bowl, he's checked in for a Kogi. The Suns have gotten 8 of 16 attempts to fall. Pass to Bowl. Tipped away. Thompson with a steal. In transition, here come the Warriors. Shoots over Durant. And again, it's Golden State. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats. How the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Outside Booker.
knocks it loose. Paul with a steal. Pass to Curry. A minute 50 left now in the first quarter. And the Warriors with another three. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter. Attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Durant with it. Here's Bull. 20 points for him last game against Cleveland. He's more than chipped in on the glass as well. Just a tremendous effort last time out. Clock at four. Beal misses off the right iron. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Fires the three. Another three for Golden State. The Suns trailing. Outside Booker. Pass to Bold. Six on the shot clock. Durant, the pass to Beal. To halt the run. Hey, he's looking good so far. Four for eight from the field. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Thompson finds Paul. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Phoenix has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Bull. Yep, that one goes. Bowl, bowl. Now just a five-point Warrior lead. If you give him any sort of space, he's going to attack. Curry against Booker. Elbow shot on the way. Curry, no good. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Warriors. He put together 10 points in the quarter. Back after this. 28. The Suns. 23. Here we go. Make some noise. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. And as long as the threes are dropping, you've got to keep launching them. Golden State has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Curry and Thompson are the wings. Then there's Jonathan Kaminga. Then there's Chris Paul. That's the group for Golden State as we kick off the second quarter. Curry passes to Thompson. Off target with the three. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Beal finds Booker. Misses the three. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. It's stolen by Nurkic. Beal right side. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. I like when Beal looks to score inside because it forces the D to get physical with him. Taking two shots. Two shots. First one falls. Well, as you know, Grant, this game can be so hard on your body. As a player, how do you determine the difference between being hurt versus being injured? That's a great question, B.A. Look, sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Today's game, the teams today are so smart about protecting players and preventing things from getting worse. But it really comes down to the players, the doctors, the team overall, just being smart and having a big picture about the injuries. Paul passes to Wiggins. Back to Paul. Pass to Wiggins. Let's go with a three. Golden State with a rebound. The kick out to Paul. Four on the clock. Now here's Wiggins. 
buries it from three. Wiggins got five points. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Here's Okogi. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Beal, no good. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Paul passes to Thompson. Paul against Beal. Back to Thompson. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. And it's an eight-point Warrior lead. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Pass to Okogi. Back to Beal. Here's Okogi. Back to Beal. Three-pointer. And they recover it. He shoots a three. Okogi's shot is off. Oh, man. He can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. Yeah. <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Wiggins, no good. For Phoenix, they've gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Here's Beal. Warriors with the rebound. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Yeah, you know, after a couple down years with key players injured, it's safe to say the Golden State Warriors are back. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Phoenix has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. And stolen by Paul. Going all the way to the rack. Here's Kuminga. And a foul Some called foul. on the way up. Bradley so he'll Beal. take two from the free throw line. Personal foul. It's going to be on Bradley Beal. Man, good whistle there. Two. The Warriors are back to contending for championships. Yes, they are. A testament to their perseverance and belief in themselves. They knew once they got healthy, they would be a threat. And they've been a fun team to watch as they get back to form. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. Yeah, entering the NBA can be a difficult challenge, and age can add to that challenge. Jonathan Kaminga was just 19 years old when he stepped onto an NBA court. So he gets them both. Boy, being so young for his draft class, Kaminga has done well in the league, Richard. Time what I out, like is how he's capitalized on his minutes. Any chance he gets to shine, he works hard to make the most of it. That's the kind of dedication that is invaluable in a young guy. Phoenix calls timeout. Well, some have said the NBA's next media deal can see franchises' values double. As the league owner, Grant, are you good with that? <laughs> you know, be I think I could get comfortable with that idea. I just think it speaks to the product. It speaks to how we present and package the game. There's so much excitement right now. It's a lot of fun to be a part of. It's one of the best investments in sports, the NBA. No question. Now here's Paul. A 20-point game for him and the win against Orlando. And how about the passing? We've seen this from him. He's just absolutely shredding the D to pieces right now. Not all his mid-range jumpers are created equal. That's one they'll take all night long. Outside Booker. Pass to Okogi. And the officials Best will screen. call the illegal Second screen wing. here. That's his second Second's foul here pretty ball. early in this one. He's got to be careful for the rest of this half. The Warriors have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. against Paul. Here's Thompson. Oh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And when healthy, Clay remains a dynamic player. Lights out scorer who often defends well. Thompson. Two shots. Shooting two.
That free throw, no good. And the second free throw is good. Phoenix has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, Commissioner Silver's open to change. He said, quote, we're not beholden to pure tradition. We care a lot about it, but all the factors I think about when we talk about changing the rules, I'm less concerned about that. We should live in the present, be respectful of those records, but also be willing to adjust when it makes sense. PA? All right, thanks, Allie. Paul can't get it to go. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. By Josh. Golden State has got six out of 15 three so far in this game. Paul finds Wiggins. and outside. Five to shoot. Defended by Nurkic. Phoenix grabs the miss. Nurkic has got four rebounds now. Pass to Beal. Here's Okogi. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Beal outside. An open look for Durant. And Chris Paul clears it away. Now, I understand that that shot didn't go down, but they will take that look every trip down the floor. alley up top, hammer it home. Few create shots oh, as easily oh. as Paul does for his teammates. He is just a great setup guy. Pass to Beal. Back to Okogi. It's intercepted. Now Kaminga. Rips down the breakaway slam. And they made themselves easy pickings. Sloppy ball control creates an easily timeout. converted turnover. Timeout called. The Suns. They have been pretty disgusting offensively. Too many miscues. They've got to get to the bottom of it. Get up and make some noise. Here come those free teachers. Number two. Beal against Paul. Right side, Booker. And there's the lob. It's tipped. Slow going for him this quarter. The defense putting up a good fight. Nice shot by Durant. Hey, look at a defender. Sometimes you just look at your coach, and your coach looks back at you and says, hey, you tried. Durant is impossible to guard. Just trust me. Now here's Paul. Five points in the game. Here's Okogi. No good on the three. Still looking for his first make, and they could really use the help right now. Over to the wing. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got six rebounds here tonight. The Suns trailing. Here's Okogi. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Excellent D there from Wiggins. He's been held scoreless tonight. Really just unable to make any sort of impact. And it's all from three-point range. Phoenix has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got four points in the quarter. It doesn't matter what you throw at him. Booker just finds a way to make it go in. Wiggins outside. Outside Paul. Offline with a three. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Pass to Durant. 
And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And Kevin Durant, post-Achilles surgery, no apparent decline, Grant. Last season, the third highest scoring average of his career. I mean, incredible. Almost 30 points a game. Think about this. Two of the four times he's led the league in scoring, he did it averaging less points per game. And his efficiency, huh, good as ever. Free throws good from Durant. And the move that really shook up the NBA world. I mean, Kevin Durant asking and receiving a trade out of Brooklyn. Now, with this team, he makes them a title favorite overnight. And the Warriors making a change here. Green is checked in. And a change for the Suns. Bowles checked in. So he hits one of two from the stripe. A near seven-footer. KD shooting almost 90% from the line for his career. That's a rare combination. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Gordon, he's checked in for the Suns. For your Warriors. 15. And it's the Suns with the ball. Seven-point differential. Pass to Booker. Paul against Beal. Nurkic with the ball. Six to shoot. Now Beal. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Cleveland. And a big part of that was his aggressiveness drawing contact and getting to the line. Now Paul. Over Gordon. True on the 14-footer. And now a nine-point Warrior lead. <laughs> good luck at trying to match up with Paul in these sets. He's just so good. It's nearly impossible trying to stop him from breaking your defense apart. Now here's Gordon. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Deal against Paul. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Wiggins outside. From nine feet out. And there's Paul. That one's good. On the assist by Wiggins. From Andrew. Wiggins got three assists tonight. Well, the Suns shooting around 39%. They'd like to get that higher. Back to Gordon. Pass to Nurkic. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Nurkic. Nurkic has got his second basket on the night. Yeah, when he sets the pick, Nurkic can do different things on the roll. <laughs> makes him hard to track. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Deal against Two Paul. Minutes. Gordon with it. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got three assists in the game. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Wiggins outside. A little mid-range shot is up. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Nurkic has got eight rebounds in the game. I'll tell you what. We know he's been struggling tonight, but his teammates have pitched in big time. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. Deal against Paul. Pass to Green. And here's Wiggins. Now here's Paul from deep. Paul grabs the board. Gordon against Wiggins. The shot is good by Gordon. And now it's just a two-point Warrior lead. He was inside his own head in that first quarter. You could see it. Now he's doing a much better job of letting the game come to him. Outside, Green. Counted from distance. Green's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Must have been too good to pass up because Green is kind of picky from the arc. Beal finds Nurkic. That shot missing. And Golden State will come the other way. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And the shot's good by Wiggins. And it's a seven-point Warrior lead. 
And Phoenix shooting just around 41% in the second. Ball against Beal. 12 seconds left in the first half. Ball with a steal. Here we go, one on one. Four seconds left. And again, it's Golden State. Come on, guys. Check out the tenacity. There's no back down in this fellow whatsoever. And that concludes the first half. The Warriors on top, up nine. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. 46. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. And they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. Well, for the Warriors, Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? The production they've gotten from their bench has been phenomenalistic. I don't know if that's a word, but it sounded good, Ernie. As we know, depth is important to any team's success. They're demonstrating that. Who knows? It might get the starters a kick in the pants. No one wants to be outshined. And, Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? They couldn't get anything from beyond that. Obviously, plenty of bad shots. But they couldn't even hit the wide open. They need to regroup, I'm telling you, regroup with some kind of rhythm and get on pace. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. You can join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Hey, it's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. The Warriors leading. And so in the game for the Suns. Kevin Durant is out there with Josh Okogie. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then it's Yusuf Nurkic. And it's Booker. And it's the two guard. Knocks down the long J. The way that Curry reads the floor, he could get double digit assist on any night if he wanted to. Beal, the pass to Booker. Beal against Curry. Pass to Durant. From down in the low post, it goes. Durant's got nine. Oh, that's cute. You think you can play tough, physical D? But that's Kevin Durant. Like, come on. Curry, no good. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Beal against Curry. And then Beal with the dunk. You look at what he's doing here, and it's hard to imagine him playing much better. Ball against Booker. Wiggins for three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Beal outside. Shoots over Curry. Off the mark with a little step back. Jay. The Warriors have gone just one of three in the second half. To the left wing. And he lobs it up to the rim. Throw it down on the lob. Such a good facilitator. If your defense makes a mistake, Paul will find the open man. Pass to Okogi. He puts up a three. Knocks it down from distance. Okogi's got his first three points of the game. Good, solid start to the half. Hitting three out of four. Here's Curry. And there's another one for the Warriors. Nice work from the in-between area. Curry has no problem taking this shot when it's available. Outside Booker. Nurkic with the ball. Just five on the clock. Inside. Here's Beal. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And the Warriors making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. Beal at the line for one.
Golden State is gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Curry finds Wiggins. Now Thompson. Booker defending. And it's Thompson that time on the assist by Wiggins. Wiggins has got four assists now tonight. Pass to Okogi. Back to Beal. Outside Booker. Clock at six. And he's going for the oop here. And then Beal with the dunk. <laughs> Check out the hops on Beal. Finishes like that will electrify his entire team. Pass to Green. Wiggins outside. From behind the arc. And it's Devin Booker with a rebound. Booker's got his fourth rebound in this one. Already a terrific career for Booker. Three-time All-Star. And then last year, he was named to the All-NBA First Team. Just a big honor. Now here's Green. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Defensive foul. And with Booker, it's not just the scoring. Grant, he does a little bit of everything. Hey, B.A., I mean, you go back and look at last season. He had career highs in rebounds, steals, blocks. I mean, he's learned how to affect the game, even when his shot isn't falling, which is rare. Free throw good. Green. The quintessential glue guy. Green does all the dirty work. You need one of these guys on your team because he has such a diverse skill set. Now here's Beal. He's got 24. Here's Okogi, hounded by Wiggins. Got a piece of it. Pass to Thompson. Shot clock at six. And a deep three from Curry. And they get it back. Misses the deep three-point attempt. Up top, Booker. Nine points in the game. Shot's no good. Made four, he's missed four now. The Warriors have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Offensive rebound. Well, the Suns shooting an excellent rate of 56% in the third quarter. It's Beal on the wing. He's covered by Curry. Booker, good. His first triple of the second half. Can he get it going? Golden State has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Back to Curry. Right side green. The fadeaway. Phoenix grabs the miss. Beal's got six rebounds here tonight. Durant for three. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins got four rebounds now. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Wiggins got 12 points. Never afraid of a little physical play. Wiggins embraces the challenge of scoring on a tough defense. Left side, Durant. Beal's got room. Offensive board. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. He has six. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Now here's Curry. 12 points for him. On the wing, Curry. Jacks up a three. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Since hitting two triples in the first half, he's been non-existent from out there. A Kogi on the wing, defended by Thompson. Beal outside. Unloads. And the jumper falls for him. Beal's got nine points in the quarter. 
the consistency of Beal's scoring has been terrific. And of course, his teammates keep working hard to facilitate to him. Golden State calls timeout. Time to show off your Dove Nation prize. Loud exception, get free t-shirts. So both teams changing it up here. So it's the Warriors now. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Thompson finds Curry. Green up top. Six on the shot clock. Not going to go that time. And Phoenix the other way now. They've been dominating the boards today, yet it's still a close game. Count it. Now just a three-point warrior lead. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. Pass to Thompson. Takes the three. It's hauled in by the Suns. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Gordon. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And you oftentimes hear about players at peace with their game. Well, that is Eric Gordon. A knockdown shooter with physicality. Plenty of room for that in today's NBA. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Gordon, the seventh pick back in 2008, Grant. Never quite an all-star, but he's been an impact player at times in his career. Well, you know, B.A., I mean, he's been a key contributor to some quality teams. And when his shot gets going, you can be in trouble. Both free throws good from Gordon. The Warriors leading. Outside Curry. Thompson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires in the triple. Thompson's got 14. When Thompson gets hot, it fuels his whole team. And right now, they are looking good. Pass to Gordon. Now Beal. This one for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Beal's got 14 points now in the second half. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now here's Curry. He's got 12. Gordon pulls it in. Pass to Beal. To the inside. Here's Bowl. That one falls. Bowl. Coming off Beal's feed. Beal's got six assists here tonight. Slick feed by Beal. Taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. Here's Thompson. He's got 14. Now here's Green. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second the defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Suns. Two shots. down the first one that one misses I know he's kicking himself for not snatching the lead but look he tied things up Gordon, left side. 
So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Clay Thompson picks one up. Third team foul. At the line for the Suns, Royce O'Neal. Two shots. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. And one more time, let's hear it for your Warriors dump team. The Warriors trailing. And here's Thompson for three. Ooh, another basket for him. He's 6 of 11 now. He started to pick it up from downtown. Made just one in the first half, but he's drained three more since. Back to Beal from the arc. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got four rebounds in the game. Got a minute 48 left in the third quarter. Pass to Bowl. Here's O'Neal. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time. But on this occasion, he got caught. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Now here's Looney. Paul passes to Green. And Eric Seems Gordon foul. gets the whistle that time. That's his first Third foul of the game. Foul. Third team foul. There's a minute 26 left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Green. Just four to shoot. The rebound by Eubanks. Eubanks, he's got his fourth rebound in this one. Peel into the lane. Rebounded by Green. Green's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Paul. 52 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Thompson finds Looney. Good work defensively by Gordon. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Pass to Thompson. Top of the key. Bull grabs the board. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Here's Green. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Green's got eight. This is how skilled Draymond is at handling the rock. And he's able to create for himself. And so it's Clay Thompson making highlights for the Warriors. He's found his range, hitting three triples in the quarter. More NBA on two. Steve Kerr with some words for his players. To the next guy, driving kicks, let it come out the wash, all right? 
Steve Kerr asking his team to simply run the offense, share the basketball. Yeah, and don't just settle for tossing it around the horn. Attack the defense, play inside out when you can. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Thompson slides in at power forward next to Green. Chris Paul out there with Moody. That's the Warriors five. Pass to Paul. Here's Moody. Back to Paul. Shoots over Booker. And the Warriors tack on two more. You just got to appreciate Paul's shot selection. Knows exactly when he should fight. Booker for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Thompson's got six rebounds here tonight. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. And that one drops for him. What a strong take by Thompson. Clay's got a big frame for a gun. Ball against Beal for three. Durant. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got assist number seven tonight. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Pass to Thompson. He's still feeling it. And there's another one for the Warriors. All game long, he's been getting to his spots. And the defense has yet to adjust. Here's Okogi. And here's Booker. Shoots from 12. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Throw out those analytics. When Booker is taking a 15, 20 footer, that's a great look for him and his squad. Here's Green. Suns foul. Kevin Durant. Third person of foul. First team foul. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive Bring approach for the Warriors? Green. At the line for two. He misses the free throw. Curry, he's checked in for Paul. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Their lead could be even bigger right now, but their efficiency from the line has dropped off a little. Beal, the pass to Nurkic. And count that! Two points and a chance for one more at the line. The muscle coming into play. I like how Nurkic takes on these challenges and finds ways to deliver. And Yusuf Nurkic, a solid role player, fits well into any team environment. A great passer and doesn't need touches to contribute. Wiggins, he's checked in for Moody. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And that one misses. And we saw last year, Nurkic can also act as a mentor with young players, Grant. Yeah, B.A., and that's a great veteran presence from Nurkic. Not a star player by any means, but a player everyone would want on their team. And the basket by Curry. Not just a jump shooter. Curry is so creative at figuring out little ways to score inside. Outside Booker. Pass to Durant. Over Green. Rebounded by Green. The Warriors have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Thompson outside. And here's Wiggins. Outside Curry. Here's Green. Booker defending. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. 
That's his first turnover of the game, and that only goes to show how well he's taking care of the ball to this point. Beal against Curry. Beal outside. Pass to Nurkic. It's Booker on the wing. Defended by Thompson. He got a piece of it. And he recovers it. He's been tremendous at corralling misses all night long. It's because he's reading where the shots are going and getting to the right position. Just outworking everyone early on the glass. Okogi pulls down the board. The Suns have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Deal against Wiggins. Here's Nurkic. That one falls. Coming on Beal's feed. This is goes to... Beal's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Pass to Thompson. Wiggins outside. Releases. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that simple. Six to shoot. That one goes in. And now a four-point Warrior lead. So polished from this painted area. Love watching Wiggins do his thing close to the basket. Beal against Curry. Beal outside. Here's Booker. The Warriors pull it in. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And with his team trying to trim this margin, his struggles this quarter, well, they're not helping things. And that one's good. Green. That's just bully ball. Green knows where he wants to go, and no one can do anything about it. Curry against Beal. Pass to Nurkic. Now here's Beal. He shoots it. Phoenix no good that time either. The Warriors have gotten seven of nine from the floor in this fourth. And they pick up two. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Phoenix has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Timeout called. The Suns. And I think Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now we see him at times playing a bunch at the four. Now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. During that break, Coach Frank Vogel had some advice for his team. He told them he likes what he's seeing inside, saying, quote, stay on the attack. Getting to the rim is working for us right now. Attack until they stop us. Guys? Ali, thank you. Here's Booker. Finds the open look, and it's on target. And for Wiggins, he'll play the stretch four times. Grant, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward, but we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. Here's Thompson. No good that time. And Phoenix the other way now. Durant with it. Pass to Okogi. Beal outside. Take it away! On the wing, Curry. Hounded by Beal. Thompson outside. The three-pointer off the mark. The Suns trailing. Here's Beal. Banked it in off the glass. Beal's got 33. He's done everything he can to give them a lift tonight, but it hasn't been enough. Here's Thompson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Clay isn't afraid to get physical if he feels like he can get to the line. For the Dubs, Clay Thompson taking two shots.
That free throw is good from Thompson. Both free throws good from Thompson. For Phoenix, they've gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. Outside Booker. Beal against Curry. Beal outside. Shoots over Curry. Again, the Sun's good for two. We know Beal can do this all night long. I mean, he's got an exceptional talent for finding points. Wiggins outside. He shoots. Curry's shot is off. The Suns have gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. Beal outside. Let's it fly. Durant's shot is off. The Warriors have gotten 8 of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Phoenix has gone only 1 of 4 from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Pass to Okogi. Booker with it. Shoots over Thompson. Booker no good. Thompson against Booker. Thompson left side. Shoots over Booker. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Nurkic has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. And he lobs it up top. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on Stephen Curry. Yeah, someone who has battled injuries. Great to see Yusuf Nurkic out there tonight. Yusuf Nurkic taking two shots. Shoot the two. That's good from Nurkic. And the Warriors making a change here. Paul's checked in. Hits them both. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Wiggins outside. Deal against Paul. Defended by Nurkic. Nurkic with some nice D. Now Beal. Over Paul. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. The Warriors leading. Here's Wiggins. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Third personal foul. Yusuf Nurkic picks one up. Good work by Wiggins going right into the coverage. Now, he knows how to get himself to the line and get the shot off. Two shots. First one falls for him. And he makes the first but misses the second. Phoenix has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Back to Beal. Shoots over Wiggins. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second person foul. Man, he made Third sure to get his foul. money's worth on that foul. At the line for the Suns, Bradley Beal. At the line for two. Shoot two.
That free throw misses. Good on the second one. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Golden State calls timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors Youth Kids team. player of the game, Clay Thompson. And he really made his presence felt on the inside. Just so active and looking all game long for openings. And he found them by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop. And it's the Warriors with the ball. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Off finds Thompson. Pass to Wiggins. Plenty of space. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist in this one. Beal against Paul. Beal gets the bucket. Talk about trusting Beal in the big moments. No matter the stakes, he can find a shot. Down low. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Here's Beal. And so he draws the foul and into the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Draymond Green. Oh, a bona fide superstar in this league. Beal looking to help his team close strong. They need these points badly. the first one and that narrows the lead down to just three and Beal drops them both he knows just how important these shots are, and he makes them count. Ball against Beal. Right side, Paul. Shoots over Beal. Paul with the bucket. Paul's got four points this quarter. This is Paul's veteran know-how becoming a factor. He is not afraid of these moments. They got the rebound. Durant with the bucket. They needed points, and KD comes through. Who else did you expect? Here's Paul. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got 15 rebounds here tonight. The Suns trailing. Deal outside. Count it! Talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Ball against Durant. Paul with another miss. And the Suns with possession to take the lead. Yes! And we have seen this from Durant before. When the game is on the line, he comes alive. Shot from the mid-range. Durant pulls it in. And I think we'll see him milk the clock a bit. Yeah, seems like the heady move right now. Booker, pass to Nurkic. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. They get it back. Durant. He connects! 
them. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. Twelve seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Twelve seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Paul from deep three-point land. And again, it's the Warriors missing. So a close game sees Phoenix taking this one. The end of the game. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team sure is always under play. some added we'll pressure. But they the made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. One thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries Greg begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on, and now their matchups become must-see TV. Happens every season. So the opening lineup for the Suns. We've got Booker. Duran is out there with Nurkic. Then there's Bradley Beal. And it's a Kogi in at the small forward position. Just two to shoot. The rebound by KD. And it's Phoenix's ball. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. Well, you, you never want to concede a game before you play it. That said, though, they were just overmatched. The tough thing about that one is they also were playing uh, a poor opponent, so no fire in that game. And that sticks with you a little bit. And so it's the Suns getting on the board first. Now here's Wiggins coming off a stellar performance against Orlando. Here's Thompson releases from the wing and drills it. And that's what makes Clay an all-time great as far as shooting the basketball. Just step inside the three-point line and he'll still hurt you. Now here's Booker. Last game he had 34 points. Here's Nurkic and a missed layup. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Well, I caught up with Coach Steve Kerr. He told me defensively they have to stop dribble penetration, challenge the lobs at the basket, and generally make it difficult to get to the front of the rim. I don't want this to turn into a dunk fest because that will not end in their favor. Guys? All right, thank you, David. Here's Beal, following the basket by Stephen Kerr. And Beal kicks to Booker. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Man, Devin Booker is a true shooter. A walking bucket, always ready to let it fly. And the proof is right there in the numbers, Greg. I mean, two seasons in a row, he's been top 10 and field goal attempts so he knows how, when, and where to get that ball up. Two shots. Last on the first. Free throw, good Booker. Now some guys will wow you with their overall size or incredible athleticism. Devin Booker does it with his pure ability to score the ball. Both free throws good from Booker. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. And there's the call on Curry. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Neal against Curry. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Count that one. Oh, Beal measured that floater just right. Kevin Durant. The Warriors have gone two for four from the field so far today. Curry passes to Wiggins. Thompson surveying the floor. Pass to Curry. Let's the three fly. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got his second basket of the night. 
like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Now, here's Nurkic. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. They get it back. A second chance effort. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Team foul. At the line for the Dubs. Jackson Davis. One shot. Suns trail by four. Passes it to a Kogi. Booker outside. From deep three point range. And it's Curry with the rebound. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. On the wing, Thompson. Defended by Booker. A fadeaway. The shot by Thompson, no good. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Scooped up. Here's Durant. Great D that time from Green. Warriors leading by four. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Shoots over KD. And it's sent back by KD. Curry against Beal. And Nurkic, the bucket on the assist from Beal. A good heads up from Bradley Beal. Just spots the ready shooter. Curry passes to Wiggins. Thompson inside the line. They get it again. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. Well, Draymond's IQ on the, the defensive the end is so high level. Draymond I think that's going to be a huge advantage with him as an analyst because he's going to talk to you from a perspective you don't much hear from. Usually it's from guys who score a lot of points in the NBA, but Take a break. what he did Take defensively, a break. he can communicate that quite well. That's good from Green. Green's broadcasting has even helped his opponents in some cases. Yours probably has too, Kevin, in some instances. But with Draymond, I think what's cool is guys are listening. And when Draymond starts to talk about some of the techniques he uses or some of the things he's looking out for, uh, guys understand that that could improve their game. So why not take it from one of the best in the business? Both free throws, good from Green. I mean, so much glue in this guy as Draymond focuses on making all the winning plays that he possibly can. Booker outside. Now the pass to Okogi. Trying his what from deep. But Suns keeping it alive. A new 14. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. It's going to send Kevin Durant to the line. And it goes on Draymond Green. Durant. And never say Shooting never. One. But we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. And when you think about Durant's singularity as a player, Steve Kerr said he's more gifted than Michael Jordan. Great. What do you think of that? Well, Steve's had a first-hand view coaching KD and playing alongside Jordan. He didn't say greater, but more gifted. I think it's a conversation. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Beal dishes to Booker. Outside Beal. Pass to Eubanks. Down in the low post, it goes. Jesus. Really nice Brian job, the Beal. timing on that pass from Bradley Beal. Higgins outside. Back to Curry. Higgins right side. 
Thompson against Booker. Outside Curry. Shot clock at five. Second shot opportunity. Rebound by the Suns. Their last encounter was in Phoenix. And their last matchup was a nail biter, but they hung on. And in part, it was because of their rebound. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Now here's Wigan. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Well, if Wiggins hits these three-point balls at a high clip, he'll become a much better player and more dangerous for this offense. Booker outside. Here's a Kogi. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And it's the Warriors with the ball. The Suns getting the bucket. Thompson passes to Green. Makes it off the glass. And the Warriors lead by two. That's a tough one there from Draymond Green. As tough as they come. Beal dishes to Durant. Out to the right wing. Here's a Kogi. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Assisted by Kogi's got it all tied up now for Phoenix. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Wiggins left side. Fades and shoots. It doesn't go for him. Now the Suns take it the other way. Kicks to Booker. Over Thompson. The offensive rebound. Eubanks. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Wiggins surveying the floor. Curry outside. Another three for Golden State. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Here's Beal. Durant trying to break free. At this time, his first miss in three attempts from the field. Curry passes to Thompson. Count the basket. Now it's a three-point warrior lead. And how about Clay just digging deep and pushing his way past the defense that time to get that one in? Booker outside. Pass to Okogi. On deep. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Here now, the league's highest scoring teams the past 10 games. What a stretch it has been for these guys. The Warriors, number one. Yeah, what an impressive run for this club. Everybody seems to be in a rhythm in terms of scoring, and they are putting up some big numbers. Riggins outside. Passes to Thompson. Lots of room. And the basket is good. Thompson's got eight points. Just love the flow and the mechanics of what Clay does so efficiently with that J. It's stolen by Curry. Outside Green. And the call on the shot that Drew sends him to the line. First personal foul. Third team foul. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring the breakdown line. for the Warriors. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Well, whether the defense is inviting these shots or not, they've been great in the mid-range. And so producing from there, that bodes well. No good on that one. Paul's checked in for the Warriors. Bowl, he's checked in for Phoenix.
That one misses. Suns trailed by five. Here's Booker. They can't stop the run with that one. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. And the basket by Curry. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Here's Booker following the basket by Stephen Curry. Booker outside. Two minutes remaining. In the first. Shoots over Two. Curry. Here's Eubanks. Warriors with the rebound. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, and in that one, they were aggressive, but also efficient. The exact balance you're looking to achieve. Well, easy to be efficient on nights like that when everybody has things going. Let's see if they're still in the rhythm tonight. No good from Durant. Warriors leading by seven. From deep three-point range, Curry can't get it to go. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Durant attacking. And it goes down two points. Durant. Durant's got five. With that unique ability to absorb contact on the drive and not let it affect the shot, Durant proving once again how tough a guy he can be. Now here's Paul. Talking about that win against the Magic, he was definitely a major factor as well. Thompson misses. Suns trail by five. Here's Beal. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Chris Paul picks up that one. Beal with a nice job. A little bit pesky that time inside. G.A., he's asked to carry a big-time scoring load. But Bradley Beal makes his teammates better as well. And that's an area, Kevin, he has really grown. And his playmaking, when the defense overcommits, you make them pay with the pass. And he knocks down the first one. Always a shame to see a guy like Bradley Beal have to go in for season-ending surgery like he did in 2022. Uh, that decision, I, I think, was tough. But in the end, for the length and longevity of his career, was the smart one for Bradley Beal. Get himself fully healthy, fully physically and mentally ready to get back on the NBA floor and be as productive as he's been throughout his career. That one misses, so he goes one for two. But everyone knows that Bradley Beal is going to produce, but he plays with such great effort at both ends. He doesn't just kick his feet up when he's on D. Now Beal, after the missed three from Stephen Curry. Beal, the pass to Katie. He kicks it to Booker. Shot clock at six. Booker draws the double. The three. Durant, no good. Warriors leading by four. Outside Curry. From 10 feet out, right on the bucket. Curry's got 12. And when Stephen Curry has these kind of nights where he's hot like this, it is must see TV. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Fans, give it up for your Warriors. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game? Uh, stats wise Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside the defense pretty lost. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Paul against Beal. Poke loose. Down to five on the shot clock. Here he goes. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Teams nowadays tracking deflections in addition to steals. Were they something you were aware of when you played defense, Greg? Yeah, even if they weren't tracked, uh, they were valued. And, and I remember early in my career, that was something with the Knicks. 
that would always emphasize because deflections were a true indicator of activity, especially defensively. That free throw, no good. the second from the line and so it's Paul bringing it up for the Warriors it's a five-point game it's good it's his second basket he's shooting two for four well Clay is going to draw that kind of attention and that's going to open up opportunity and Beal kicks to KD back to Beal that's tipped and taken away by Paul And that's a foul Phoenix called ball. on Bull Bull. Bull Bull. That's his first foul. First, first foul. The Kogi's checked in first for Phoenix. Foul. Sun sub, Josh Okogi. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. wing for three drills the three-pointer and now it's a 10-point warrior lead he's not going to miss an opportunity to find a teammate chris paul delivers poked away and so it looks like the suns will retain possession here suns basketball Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. And there's the pass to Beal. Knocked away. Here's Paul. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Beal's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Tries again. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. He has five. Trace. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Outside Durant, and there's the call on Durant. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. And Phoenix making a change. Gordon's checked in. Eric Gordon. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. All finds Thompson. And the Warriors take on two more. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Fader on the way. Came on Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. against Booker. And the shot is good. Paul's got his first bucket of the night. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Suns trail by 16. Outside Gordon. Akogi, the pass to Nurkic. Kicks it to Booker. They need this. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. And Booker's shot is so pretty. Just one of those guys, when you watch him, you feel like every one of them's going in. Pass to Thompson. From the arc. Another three for Golden State. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. 
well, both of them looking towards the three point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Five to shoot. And he misses his first shot. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Kicks it out to Paul. From deep. Rebound by the Suns. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Booker, no good. Well, his shots aren't dropping. And they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him. See if he can find it. Out left to the wing. They get the rebound. Off with the layup. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Phoenix Suns. They trail by 16. Bobbed up there for Durant. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Well, we've all seen it. The mobility, the wingspan of Durant. Seriously, how are you going to stop him on an alley-oop? Thompson from long range. Trains the three-pointer. Thompson's got 16. He has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Pass to Gordon. This one for three. Nurkic. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Now Nurkic does a great job just keeping the motor running. Paul kicks to Thompson. Paul looking around. Back to Thompson. Defended by Gordon. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. The Warriors shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. At the line for the Warriors. Number two. At the line for two. Shooting two. First one falls for him. That one is no good. Greg, you take a look at Nurkic. He is at his best going against big name centers. Nurkic is the kind of player who rises to a challenge, can be a bit inconsistent in what he gives you, but he loves the challenge of going up against the best. Puts up a three. That ball's off target. It's his third miss. He's made two shots from the field. And he uses the glass on the layup. He has seven. Excellent play. Just adding fuel to the fire and really trying to put time this out, one out. out of reach. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. And the Suns call time. Yeah, you can't make any excuses right now for them giving the ball up as much as they have in this one. Hopefully they can get on the same page during this timeout. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. And the Suns miss again. Warriors leading by 18. The dish to Paul. Defended by Gordon. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. That one's on Eric Gordon. So I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The, the Warriors have missed a few free throws up to this point, Jackson shooting four and seven from the foul line tonight. Two shots. First one falls. Yeah. 
He hits one and misses one each at the line. Well, when KD asked out, you knew the Nets would get a King's ransom. Perhaps the biggest star trade we've seen in decades. But with KD on this team, they are right in the thick of it as far as contender. On the wing, Booker takes a three. It's good from long range. Yeah, Booker. Booker's points. got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Sun. Yeah, he couldn't connect on anything from outside in the first quarter, but now he's hit two threes in the second quarter, and he looks much better. And the Warriors miss again. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. KD's shot is good. Yeah, that Assistant. first quarter was Jared a bit Gordon. shaky. Good to see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. Defended by Gordon. Pass to Thompson. Five on the clock. Makes good on the step back jumper. Eight points for him. Yeah, he's got to knock that down if you give it to him. Uncompetitive there defensively. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. Got a piece of it, and Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, looking up at the scoreboard, guys, that's his third foul, and his coach has to consider now sitting him down. Andrew Wiggins, Stephen Curry. And it's the Suns with the ball. It's a 16-point game. To the paint. Here's a Kogi. Wiggins with the block. Oh, my, Wiggins saying no, no. The pass to Curry, and here is Paul, defended by Booker. Paul outside, back to Curry, six to shoot. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. KD's got six rebounds in the game. Here's a Kogi. Outside, Gordon. And the shot goes down. Eric Gordon. And they run the pick and roll right there to perfection as Gordon gets the shot to go. Bounce pass from Paul. He kicks to Wiggins. Back to Paul. Launches it. That ball's ice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got three assists tonight. Although he's a pass-first kind of player, Chris Paul does enjoy catching the defenses off guard, and I love that quick shot. Back to Booker. Shoots over Curry. Another one falls for Phoenix. Warriors leading by 15. Outside Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Ball left side from outside the arc. And the rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Gordon. And the layup is good after Here's a nice Gordon. lead pass. Booker more and more becoming a double threat, not just to score the ball, but starting to realize he can set up his teammates. And the Warriors timeout, timeout. decide to take their first time out here. Pardon? Checked in for the Suns. Beal comes in for Eric Gordon. Here's Kaminga. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Orlando. Yeah, but there's always this point you got to look at where did he also impact the game? It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. This is the curve. Some nice passing by Golden State. And Kaminga throws it down. Uh, you leave it to CP3. Statistically one of the top ten assist men. Not just in the league now. In the history of the game. Back to Beal. Pass to Bull. Wiggins against KD. Passes it to Nurkic. Just five to shoot. Booker fires from way outside. 
Another, Another three. three for Phoenix. And he's now made three three-pointers here in the second, starting to get it going. In the corner, it's Wiggins. A minute 20 left in the first half. They get it back. Curry. And he makes good on the way up. Curry's got 14 points. And this is what you mean by saying things like Curry sees the game at another level. That's just a, a sneaky play. KD looking around. Nurk gets the best to KD. It's Beal on the wing. The Warriors pull it in. Inside. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Ten points for him. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Beal the pass to Durant. Back to Beal. Outside, Katie. From deep. And Curry pulls it down. And offensively, they've gotten stuck on the perimeter, falling in love with the jump. Jacks up a three. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State Warriors. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on this one. 46. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. Clay Thompson putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He had 16 points, two assists, and one rebound. He didn't perform up to his standards in their last game. Tonight's a different story. He obviously has a short memory. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what you think? Credit these guys for coming in with the right game plan and then patiently executing. Most of their shots have come in the flow of the offense. Rarely did they take a bad shot. Good, clean first half. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? Well, they need to change their strategy. We can see that. Jacking up three-pointers left and right, many of them contested or from deep range. Just isn't the way to play basketball, fellas. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Here we go. Make some noise. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Clay Thompson has been sensational. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half, just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Checking out the group of Frank Vogel to start the second half. We've got Durant. Evan Booker out there with Bradley Beal. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's a Kogi in at the three, the small forward. Well, Beal can really score just about anywhere. Don't be surprised when he knocks down shots from the mid-range. Kicks it to Thompson. The pass to Curry. Three-pointer. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. They lead by 17. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got 19 points. That's tough. Tough finish. Steph's not just a great shooter, but really great numbers through the years as being an elite finisher. Beal laid in with a nice touch off the glass. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot, 
and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. Pass to Thompson. The tray. And another three for Golden State. How about that? Coming out to start the half. A perfect three of three. Beal dishes to Nurkic. Oh, Beal in position. I like Beal's shot selection there. It makes him so much more efficient. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Curry kicks to Thompson. A three-pointer. Wiggins. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Yeah, just the first miss of the half there. They have to be happy. Three of four to start it off. We saw Andrew Wiggins take a big step forward when he went to Golden State in 2020. A lot of people think that's a subtle change, but I actually think it's a lot bigger. When you get a player of Andrew Wiggins' caliber who is born to score, and you adjust some of the shot selection and how offensively he's staying engaged, that's a big difference both physically and mentally. It's been a big uptick for him along with his defensive presence. Offensive rebound. Curry can't get it to go. Suns trail by 16. Booker the pass to Nurkic. Defended by Booker. Curry gets to Wiggins. He dishes it to Green. Three pointers off the mark. The Suns have gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Here's a Kogi covered by Wiggins, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Wiggins, first person to foul, first team foul. The Suns have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. Josh Okogi taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Brent, nowadays, there are so many options for the great high school basketball player in this country and overseas. Do you see the G League Ignite in similar ways as a positive overall? I think right now you'd have to say that the G League Ignite has been a successful experiment, and that run is going to continue. You get guys like Jalen Green, who was drafted by the Houston Rockets and came in, had a sensational rookie season. That pathway has led him there. So I think they're doing a good job. The interesting thing, Kevin, to talk about is what colleges have done in response to that and what's going on in the NIL space. How does that change the dynamic in the future? Wiggins, right side. That shot, no good. The Suns go the other way with it. Stolen by Thompson. Curry on the wing. There's the triple. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Booker outside. Pass to a Kogi. Back to Booker. Beal up top. Picked away. At the top of the key, Curry buries it from about 10 feet away. Curry's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. They have been a wrecking ball defensively, coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. They've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, confidence grows you win that turnover battle just five on the clock back to curry out of bounds phoenix takes possession and that's just carelessness there i mean you have got to have your head in the game and the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was and boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Suns. Trailing by 17. The three. And Durant gets it to go. The assist from Beal. Three-pointer. Beal's got three assists tonight. 
Just unbelievable range. Kevin Durant exploiting the perimeter weakness in the defense that time. Wiggins outside. Out to Thompson. Down to five on the shot clock. Plenty of daylight on that shot. 21 points for Clay Thompson. Sometimes you don't get this kind of aggressive Clay Thompson on the offensive end, but the teammates love to see it. Heal, that's for two. And the Suns tack on two more. And since halftime, he has been a different player. On the wing, Thompson. Back to Curry. For the three. The shot. No good. Now the Suns take it the other way. Shoots from the elbow. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Beal. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting timeout, the basketball. Timeout. He can bring them right back into this Start. game. Timeout called the Warriors. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Bryce O'Neal comes in for Josh Okogie. And Eric Gordon subbed in for Booker. Beal finds Durant. Here's Beal. Goes up to the strike. Another one falls for Phoenix. This is oh boy, the touch is coming back Eric here in the Gordon. second half. Percentages from the field much better than it was at the break. Passes it to Looney. From downtown, Phoenix grabs the miss. Norkic has got six rebounds here tonight. Green passes to Kerr. And here's Thompson beyond the arc. And the rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. It's stolen by Curry. To the middle. Here's Thompson. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Suns trail by 13. Here's Durant. And Chan shot. And it's good on the way in. Durant. KD's got seven points for the quarter. A great hustle from the swing man that time is Durant doing whatever he could do to keep it alive. Curry dishes to Green. Fires from deep. Buries it from three-point range. He's got 11. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And it's Gordon missing. Warriors leading by 14. Looney up top. Defended by Gordon. Here's Curry. The shot from the low post is good. Curry's got 12 points here in the second half. Just how awesome is it? to watch the best of the best start to dominate in the game. Beal finds KD. To the inside, O'Neal, and the dunk by O'Neal. If there's a part of KD's game that goes under the radar, it's probably that right there, playmaking. Curry passes to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Shot clock at five. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. And the Warriors lead by 16. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. He had a nice open look right there. Beal's got 21. Uh, feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. And the pass to Thompson. Back to Curry. Stolen by Durant. 
Fires the three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Two, Warriors two, leading two, by 13. Two, There's 154 left to play in the third. Back to Thompson. Three-pointer. And another three for Golden State. You just get the feeling that whenever Clay rises up, he's going to make it. Outside Gordon. Pass to O'Neal. Nurkic with it. Defended by Looney. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Pass to Looney. Curry kicks to Thompson. Fires for three. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Bob up there for Durant. And finished off by Katie. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Passes it to Green. Now here's Curry. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his sixth assist on the night. And really the last guy that you like to see comfortable shooting the ball is Stephen Curry. Just automatic. And they call an illegal great. screen here. Illegal you know what? you got to play smart when you're trailing. Margin for error much smaller, yet they continue to make mistakes. And some changes here for the Warriors. Kaminga comes in for Green. Moody subbed in for Clay Thompson. And a change for the Suns. Bowl. He's checked in for Kevin Durant. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Now, here's Moody. Guarded by O'Neal. They grab their own miss. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on Defensive the offensive foul. glass. And that's Uses one of the things nervous. he brings to the table. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Moses Moody. Shooting one. He's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. And Bradley Beal right there just using the force to get to the free throw line. The Suns have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. Five seconds left here in the third quarter. And Paul launches it from deep. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He ends up propping in two from distance. They get a difference from long range in this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play.
And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Warriors leading by 19 points. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. It's hauled in by the Suns. Eubanks got four rebounds in this game. Here's a Kogi covered by Wiggins. Here's Booker. True on the 14 footer. Booker. Booker's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Suns. Now how smooth is Devin Booker's J right there? And inside the arc, he nails it. Ball outside. Rebound by the Suns. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Here's a Kogi covered by Wiggins. A Kogi, the best to Eubanks. Five on the clock. From deep three point range. A Kogi misses. Warriors leading by 17. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. And the three off target. Down low. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Bowles got his first bucket in this one. Yeah, inside. Bowles does a great job just making subtle adjustments and utilizing that length. To the inside. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Bull, the pass to Okogi. Peel against Paul. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And beyond the leaning. You could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. The Warriors making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. There's the pass to Kaminga. Eubanks grabs the miss. Eubanks got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Green is checked in for Jonathan Kaminga. And a change for the Suns. Yusuf Norkic, he's checked in for Eubanks. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Pass to Beal. Let's it go with the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Beal's got 27. And you can sense the urgency from them now. They were flat in that first half, but they've come out here in the second and been much more aggressive offensively. Oh, what elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man, and he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Back to Beal. Takes the three. Kept alive. Here's Nurkic, and that one good. Well, in the rebounding game, at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Golden State. Wiggins up top. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's the aggressive part of Andrew Wiggins coming out of him, forcing the defender that time to get his hand in there. At the line for the Warriors. Andrew Wiggins at the line for two. Two, two. And he can't get the first one. And Andrew Wiggins came into this league as such a special talent. It's so great to see all of that blossoming this far into his career. The Warriors making a switch here. Curry's checked in. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. 
Bull kicks to Booker. Over Thompson. Like at six. Keeps it alive. There's Nurkic putting it right back in. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Here's Green. Got a piece of it. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. Timeout Time called the Warriors. Start it. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? Thanks, David. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Josh and he lays it up and in. The assist? Well, uh, they're ball, getting ball. stops. And they're attacking on the offensive end. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this, just grinding out defensive possessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. Here's Curry. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Pass to a Kogi. Beal dishes the bowl. Back to Beal. to the paint and they call the foul so a chance at the line for one more coming up and you see defenses trying to be physical with ball that time contact on the shot had no effect at the line for one And that one falls for Bull. And like his father, Manu, Bull's combination of size and scoring is very unique. The, the key for him is just staying healthy. Thompson passes to Curry. Wiggins with it. Lets it go from deep. Beal pulls it in. Beal's got rebound number seven for him tonight. A Kogi misses. Warriors leading by nine. Kicks it to Thompson. Outside curve. Higgins outside. Connects from three-point range. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second. Here's a Kogi. Back to Beal. Shoots over Curry. And that one's good. Beal. Beal's got five points now in the quarter. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. Phoenix basketball. And it's the Suns with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Passes it to Kogi. He kicks the ball. Puts one up from 19. Booker, good. Booker's got 19 points. This will help Devin Booker. His shot selection, terrific at cashing in from that spot on the floor. Golden State moving it around. And that's a foul. Called on Bradley Beal. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. against Curry. Green breaking loose. Like the defense from Beal doing whatever he could to alter that one. Curry can't get it to go. Bull with it. Now Green defending. Bull, that Bull. one's in there. The Warrior this lead is, is cut down to just six points with the basket from Bull. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. 
going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. He was all alone on that one. Curry's got five points now this quarter. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Timeout called. The Suns. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. our new balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Booker outside. The pass to a Kogi. The 11-footer. And that one hits back iron. Warriors leading by nine. Higgins outside. Pass to Curry. Kicks to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Third person of foul. It's on Kevin Durant. Clay takes that foul and still getting his shot off. And sitting out for over two years due to devastating injuries. It is so good to see Clay Thompson back on the court. I love it. And he's been so competitive with himself to fight through this injury and also to, to regain that form. There had to have been a lot of questions with you know over 900 days off. Can I get back to that level? And I believe that he wasn't even fully healthy during the finals. So we're going to see a, a more confident Clay this year. Clay Thompson never seems to get too rattled. A pretty even keel guy. And you can see that even when Clay's off the floor. And so Thompson nails both of them. Suns trail by 11. Pass to a Kogi. And here's Booker from the arc. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. Is it possible his sweet touch is getting sweeter, guys? Higgins outside. He's guarded by Nurkic. Curry against Beal. I'm deep. It's hauled in by the Suns. Norkic has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Bradley Beal. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Green finds Thompson. Outside Curry. That shot off, and Phoenix will come the other way. Here's a Kogi. Now the dish to be passed to a Kogi. Back to Beal, stolen by Thompson. Higgins outside. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got nine assists now tonight. And Wiggins is shooting it with confidence, and he's a threat to put up some big numbers. Beal can't get it to go. And here's Curry, who brings it up for Golden State. There's the three. And it's Durant with the rebound. Suns trail by eight. Now Beal, balls knocked loose, stolen by Thompson. Here's Green. He can't get it to go. Great D that time from Nurkic. 
Here's a Kogu. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First person foul. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Josh Okogi at the line for two. Shooting two. Cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up making the second, and that narrows the gap to seven. Not a perfect trip to the free throw line, but they'll take what they can get at this point. Looking it over. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. Back to Wiggins. The pass to Curry. And the Warriors miss again. He needs to try to get another basket this quarter because clearly his jumper is not going down right now. Beal the pass to a Kogi. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Beal's got six assists now in the game. Warriors leading by four. Here's Curry. Softly drops in the floor. Curry's got 35. Oh, man, the baby-faced assassin stepping up right there. Such a great score, and what a situation to step to get it done. Warriors five. Stephen Curry. Third person foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Phoenix. Taking two shots. Shoot two. He drops the first one, and that brings them within five. So he makes both from the line. The lead's not looking as comfortable after those free throws. Nice job. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. Yeah, it's almost like he's got a magnet on that ball here tonight. He's in the right spot all the time. Yeah, easy call. Second person of five. Team's four. the line for the Suns. Josh Okogi, two shots. Shoot two. So the first one drops, and that narrows the lead down to just three. perfect from the line this time and now you're in a great position thanks to those clutch free throws one possession game now guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession not with the lead now's the time to burn some clock boy i'd love to see him just get a smidge closer to the basket once he sees a few shots go in from there that might open up everything from distance and now they decide to foul intentionally third person to foul team's four So, guys, it comes down to this. Time for your stars to shine. And now we've got the intentional foul. At the line for the Dubs. Stephen Curry. Two shots.
He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Well, this should be easy to predict here, as Curry's accuracy is exceptional, even under pressure. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. It's a four-point ballgame. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. And the Suns call time here. They're behind by four. 24 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Deal against Curry from 10 feet out, and it's Curry with the rebound. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. No choice but the foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Curry. At the line for two. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. Yeah, we talk so much about Curry being the best shooter after he makes a three, but there's a lot more to it. I mean, this guy is also the most accurate free throw shooter of all time, so it's pure no matter where it comes from. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Phoenix calls timeout. They trailed by six. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? Still a sliver of hope. Yeah, act fast, but without mistakes. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter. A good job on the glass there, working hard to establish position and put himself in a great spot to come away with that rebound. At the line, for It's the first that makes it a seven point lead. throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Allen finds Lee from deep three-point range. That shot off the mark. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up, so maybe just a step too far. So we see the Warriors get the win here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I Well, we're more than a few games into the year. How much do we know about this year's rookie class, Grant? Well, it's still early. We have to remember, we might be a half year into a decade-plus career for some of these guys. So I think it's best to reserve judgment for now. An NBA career is a marathon. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Kevin Durant is out there with Josh Okoge. Then there's Devin Booker. Then it's Yusuf Nurkic. And it's Beal in at the point guard position. Now here's Nurkic. Clock at six. Here's Okogi, pounded by Wiggins. Good on the shot. He resets off the spin and calmly knocks down the jumper. Outside Curry. Thompson outside. Off target from three-point range. Duran against Green. Duran, the pass to Beal. Now Nurkic. Pass to Okogi. Booker with it. 
The three ball drills it from deep. Part of the evolution of Booker's game, getting consistent from deep. Right wing. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Up top, Durant. Green covering. That one falls. And that's tough right there. Love when Durant goes up with purpose and finishes over contact. Curry passes to Wiggins. Beal against Curry. Will it go? After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. It makes a difference for them if he can establish his three-point shot as a weapon. Beal, no good. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. Here's Curry. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. The better shooter you are, the quicker you become. Curry makes it so hard to guard him in these little moments, he slips past the defense. Here's Okogi. For three, Booker. And the Suns get another three. Ideal way to start the game. Come out of the gate and knock down all but one of your first five shots. What you have to admire about Devin Booker is how much he scores the rock, as well as all the different ways he's able to finish. Now here's Thompson. An effective score for them, scoring around 21 and a half points a game. And the three-pointer goes. And that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Here's Okogi. Here's Durant. The rebound by Wiggins. And Booker is a guy you can lean on to help shoulder the offensive load, Richard. Yeah, he's comfortable taking a lot of shots for his team. He's a volume shooter for a reason, because he understands how to score at an efficient clip, too. Personal foul. First team foul. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring the breakdown for the Warriors. Play Thompson. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw is good from Thompson. And when healthy, Clay remains a dynamic player. Lights out scorer who often defends well. Second free throw, no good. For Phoenix, they've gone four of six in the first quarter. Beal outside. Pass to Okogi. He tries for three. Hauled in by Curry. Golden State has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. On the wing, Thompson. There's the triple. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Outplayed in their previous game on their schedule. Losing to the Cavs. Defensively, they weren't up to the task. Didn't play as a cohesive unit, and it really hurt them. Boy, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. Yeah, it was rough. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Curry passes to Wiggins. Puts it up. And that's good for two. Wiggins has got five points. Yeah, good mechanics on Wiggins' shot right there. Now, he definitely has a natural talent for shooting the ball. Booker. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. At the line for the Suns, Devin Booker at the line for two. First free throw is good. 
when Devin Booker steps on the court, you almost expect 30 or 40 point nights. Booker is that talented. Both free throws good from Booker. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. The Warriors have gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Wiggins outside. The three from Curry. The shot off that time. And Phoenix the other way now. Their last encounter was in Phoenix. Yeah, they barely got by this team in the last meeting. Rebounding was the big factor. The Warriors shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. Green, the pass to Curry. Now here's Thompson. Six to shoot. Pass to Wiggins. And again, it's Golden State. Put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Here's Okogi. To the paint. Here's Nurkic. The layup misses. The Warriors leading. Wiggins right side. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. Pass to Okogi. No luck on that one. Excellent D there from Wiggins. The Warriors have got 6 of 10 attempts to fall. It's hauled in by the Suns. Not his best efficiency this quarter. And look, sometimes that's how it goes. And out of bounds, the Warriors will take it. Ball. Curry against Beal. Fires for three. Here's Green. That one is off. And Phoenix the other way now. Here's Okogi. Gets it to drop. Now Josh. two of four. Okay. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Wiggins. Back to Curry. From downtown. And it's Devin Booker with a rebound. Phoenix has gone two for three from outside the arc. Curry against Beal. Pass to Durant. Back to Beal. Five on the clock. The ball's knocked loose. And it's out of bounds. Still Phoenix's ball. Here we are in the middle of the season. Let's see where the Western Conference standings sit. You take a look at the Warriors. Sitting pretty at this point of the season. Second place and looking to move to first. And check it out, Phoenix. They currently find themselves down in the bottom of the conference. Well, I think for Golden State, I recall them having a lot of naysayers at the start of the season. But now, they may not have any. This team is ready for a deep playoff run. Even though some people doubted them, there are just as many people, if not more, who believed in this team from the very beginning. And it's pretty clear right now who was right. Now here's Beal. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. From 15 feet away, rebounded by Green. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Pass to Thompson. Back to Green. Wiggins outside. Another shot. And he takes it up and lays it in. Wiggins. Wiggins got nine points. So polished from this painted area. Love watching Wiggins do his thing close to the basket. Here's Booker. Second chance shot. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second portion of foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Phoenix. Devin Booker. Two shots. Two shots. Last on the front. Stop. 
That free throw good from Booker. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Paul comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And a change for the Suns. Eubanks is checked in. Both free throws good from Booker. The Warriors shooting 41% from the field so far. Thompson outside. Pass to Curry. The three. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Such a quick release. As soon as the ball touches his hands, it's gone. Back to Beal. Here's Okogi. Hey, from beyond the arc. The offensive rebound. Eubanks. And he dunks it down. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Now here's Paul. Playing Orlando, he was nearly unstoppable. Surprising he didn't bury that, but hey, it happens sometimes. Nice shot by Okogi. Okogi. Okogi's got six. Nice pass. Such a unique talent on both ends. That time Booker showing us his vision. Here's Paul. Oh, denied by Durant. And he's able to get it back. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. It's going to be Paul shooting. It's going to be on Bradley Beal. Oh, he's checked in for a Kogi. Second team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Chris Paul. At the line for one. What's up? That's good from Paul. It's impressive what an enduring talent Chris Paul has been. A lot has changed around the league, but CP3 is still doing his thing and leading his guys to success. Now here's Durant. He's coming off a 10-point game against Cleveland. And he brought the defense, secured four steals over Warriors the course foul. of the game. Clay Thompson, first person to foul, third team foul. Shooting for Phoenix, Kevin Durant. Taking two shots. Two shots. Last the first. That one's off. And he sinks the second. Offensively, Durant might be the most unguardable player in NBA history. He can shoot, dribble, pass, drive, you name it. Everything he does, he does it at a high level on top of being seven feet tall. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Beal against Paul. From 13. Beal, no good. The Warriors leading. Pass to Curry. To the middle. Here's Kuminga. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Dubs. Jonathan Kuminga taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Yeah, and it's still early, but missing free throws is something to keep an eye on.
He hits the second from the line. 146 left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to Booker. Fires from deep. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got four rebounds now. No luck on that one. The Suns trailing. Outside Booker. Now Durant. Five to shoot. Here's Booker. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Booker's got 14 points for the game. 103 left to play in the first quarter. Outside Paul. And he banks in the layup. And the Warriors lead by two. Just great awareness from Curry. So good at reading the floor and finding his open teammates. To the inside. Here we go. Thompson outside. Launches a three. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. And now a five-point Warrior lead. And this is Thompson's shot. One of the most gifted outside shooter the NBA, the world, has ever seen. Pass to Booker. Deal with it. Shoots. Suns foul. Bowl, bowl. First personal foul. Third team foul. And the Warriors shooting the rock around 46% so far. Tries from six feet, and Curry puts it in. He's got seven. Slick move by Curry with the ball, getting the defenders off balance so he can find a shot. Here's Beal. And again, another missed shot. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniff that one out. It's been all about Andrew Wiggins for the Warriors. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. We'll be right back after this word. 25. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors, you And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. And as long as the threes are dropping, you've got to keep launching them. And Phoenix has possession. Seven-point differential. And so, in the game for Phoenix. They've got Bradley Beal. Also, Devin Booker out there. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Kevin Durant. Kevin and it's Bowl in at the four-man position. And an annual ritual, players finding out their ratings at NBA 2K. All right, Richard, you were customarily happy with your rating, yes? I didn't really care, but a part of my condition of working for 2K is they said that they will retroactively change my rating to 100. The first 100 player. You deserve it, man. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. I'm not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Pass to Booker from outside the arc. Shot's no good. Made four, he's missed four now. Golden State has gone five of 12 from three-point range tonight. And he recovers it. Curry finds Green. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got four assists now tonight. And this is where Green looks to score. He's comfortable and confident down low. Now here's Booker. Last game, he had 34 points. Pass to Nurkic. Six on the shot clock. The Suns need to get off a shot. Beal, that one's good. I'll tell you what, I absolutely love watching Beal go to work. He makes good decisions, and that time, no hesitation off the catch. Fires from the wing. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Booker no good. The Warriors have gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Beal against Paul. Thompson passes to Paul. Curry with it. The three is up. 
and he drains him. That basket makes him four for nine. Chris Paul is always thinking pass first. He's so good at finding his teammates, especially when they're open. Outside Durant. Outside Booker. Let's the three fly. And that basket makes him five for ten. Steady production so far. And that's his first triple this quarter. Three total for the game. Curry against Booker. Now here's Curry. Tight defense on him. The shot won't fall. Excellent D there from Booker. And he lobs it up. And Durant with the big finish. Beautiful timing from KD. He just knows when to get up there for the alley-oop. Pass to Thompson. Left side, Green. Fades. Durant pulls it in. Durant's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Bull. Green covering. The baseline, Jay. Another one falls for Phoenix. Timeout, timeout. <laughs> the elevated playmaking of Durant. Oh, Passes time. like that really bring the team closer together. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. And that one, the other team could not keep up with them offensively. <laughs> they were prolific. And on top of probably having the better talent, they never let up. Great effort, great win. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Klay Thompson. And a change for the Suns. Okogie's checked in for Bowl. Golden State has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Defended by Nurkic. Back to Wiggins. Pass to Green. Cuts off the pass. Now Booker. Pulls it from the corner. And he's now 6 for 11 after that one. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Outside Curry. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. You got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on an 11-3 run. Booker can't get it to go. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Back to Wiggins. Pass to Paul. And they call an illegal screen here. And they just keep making mistakes. I mean, that's back-to-back -back turnovers, which easily could have been prevented. Phoenix has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Beal finds Booker. Here's Okogi. Out to Beal. Pass to Booker. Shoots over Curry. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. And the D having issues slowing down their mid-range game. And the Warriors time out, time call time out. here. Nice game. Great performance by Devin Booker. And whatever the D has thrown at him, he's had an answer. His offense is coming naturally to him because he keeps things simple. You hear that, people? Keeps things simple. And the Warriors making a switch here. Pass to Wiggins. Paul with it. Beyond the arc. Drops in the three. Paul's got eight. One quickness from Paul. Gets the ball and instantly puts up the shot. That's quick. Here's Okogi. Deal with it. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Cleveland. And he played cat and mouse with the defense, baiting them into fouls, working himself to the line. Wow, even against contact, defense does all they can to stop Paul inside, and he still slips by them. Offensive rebound, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to go on Draymond Green. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. At the line for the Suns, Bradley Beal. Two shots.
No good on that one. And he's good on the second. Now Paul. He's got ten. Shot clock at six. And Booker pulls it down. Booker's got a six rebound on the night. Beal finds Nurkic. Up top, Beal. Pass to Durant. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. Slick feed by Beal. Taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. And here's Wiggins. Shoots it from the high post. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. He's so effective from the mid-range. When Wiggins senses an opportunity to score from there, he doesn't hesitate at all. Beal, the pass to Durant. Second chance effort. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Oh, man, the defender really went after him. Yusuf. Nurkic at the line for two. <laughs> He's off on the first. Yeah, someone who has battled injuries. Great to see Yusuf Nurkic out there tonight. And he sinks the second. And here's Paul. He's got 10. Pass to Green. Now here's Paul. Hounded by Beal. And there's another one for the Warriors. Sometimes you just got to do it yourself. Chris Paul calling his own number. For Phoenix, they've gotten 8 of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. Now here's Beal. He's a tough guy to check, averaging almost 28 points a game. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. You'll take it. Here's Paul. He's got 12. Bradley Beal puts it in. Beal's got four rebounds in the game. From the top of the key, and there's Durant. That one's good. On the assist by Beal. Beal's got three assists tonight. Hard to stop Durant when he's set up like this. He's so well positioned to score. Wiggins outside. Six on the shot clock. Takes a three. It goes again. His sixth basket and seven tries. He has been a key factor for them offensively, time scoring out, with consistency. Phoenix calls timeout. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. Making a change here. Kuminga's checked in. Eubanks, he's checked in for Phoenix. Gordon comes in for Booker. Here's Eubanks. He's averaging about six points per game. Here's Beal. Lays it up and banks it in. Beal's got five points. 
<laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Wiggins outside. And making the extra pass. Wiggins' teammates appreciate his willingness to get it to them when they're uncovered. Gordon outside. Pass to Okogi. And here's Beal. He's guarded by Paul. Six to shoot. Now here's Gordon. Fires the three. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. To the wing, right side. Phoenix grabs the miss. Durant's got his fifth rebound in this one. Gordon outside. Here's Okogi. Give him eight points now. Oh, he tries a three. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. <laughs> Those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Wiggins outside. Back to Paul. The Suns clear it. Here's Okogi. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. Golden State basketball. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. A minute 58 left to play in the second quarter. Pass to Kaminga. Three-pointer. Drains the triple. They're shooting nearly 50% from beyond the arm, and their confidence is growing. Now Gordon. One twenty-seven left in the second quarter. And there's the whistle. Screen. The illegal screen is the call. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable so turnover. You've got to focus Bowl. on the details. Bowl, he's checked in for the Suns. Golden State has gone four of six from outside. Looking sharp here in the second. Paul with it. He's got 12. And here's Kaminga for three. Okogi pulls down the board. The Suns trailing. 103 left to play in the half. Knocked away. Ball against Beal. It's Wiggins on the wing. And again, no good by Golden State. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Gordon on the wing. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Deflected! Outside Kaminga. Inside. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second personal foul. The officials were right on top of that one. At the line for the Dubs, Jackson Davis. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. He hits the second from the line. 23 seconds left in the second. Beal against Paul with the 10-footer. And the jumper is good. Beal's got seven now in this quarter. 
He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. So good at drawing contact. CP uses his smarts to get to the line. Chris Paul taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. The three. Can't get it to drop. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Warriors on top. They're up by three. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Andrew Wiggins was the man in the first. He had 14 points, four rebounds, and three assists. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they display, they're doing much more than giving the starters a break. We're seeing real intensity from them, particularly on the offense. Shaq, what'd you think about Phoenix? Ernie, they're taking way too many threes. The offense has no rhythm. They need to go back to the drawing board. Maybe try to get a little bit more transition, more of the pick and roll. Anything other than shooting that three. It's not going. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harley. in a game that's been fairly even so far. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from Devin Booker. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Booker, good. Booker plays hard in every facet of the game. Nothing that Booker can't do. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Here's the three. Okogi pulls down the board. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. And with their title last season, the Warriors now with seven in franchise history, no longer Jump tied ball. with the Bulls. They are alone and ranked third all time. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. So it's the Warriors now. And the Warriors shooting the ball at 46% from the floor. Thompson outside. And the call is going to be, yes, on a legal screen. Just lost his head out there. It'll happen if you're pushing a little too hard. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. You got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Here's Durant. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. And the Warriors still have a long way to go to surpass the Celtics and the Lakers for total championships, each with 17. But their ambition from the top down is to do exactly that. They want to be, in their own words, the greatest organization on earth. Definitely playing the long game. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. 
Golden State has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Pass to Thompson. Hounded by Beal. Another three for Golden State. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Nurkic. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, look at Nurkic using his physique on offense, taking his shot and drawing a good foul. Yusuf Nurkic taking two shots. Shooting two. That's good from Nurkic. also good so he hits both free throws and we're just about two minutes into the second half now Wiggins outside back to Curry Booker against Thompson pass to Green beyond the arc the shot no good and Phoenix the other way now here's Okogi give him eight Here's Booker. There's the triple. Warriors with the rebound. Wiggins got rebound number five here tonight. On the wing, Green. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. You love how physical Green is willing to get. Enduring the foul and finding the bottom of the bucket. So much to say about Draymond's game. Tough to say anyone else in the league has a larger impact on their team on both sides of the floor. Green shooting one. And Richard, the weight that Draymond carries for this team can't be forgotten. The impact he has on the defense alone is remarkable. But then you factor in the offense ability, bringing the ball up the floor. There is no doubt he is the vocal leader and the heartbeat. Pass to Nurkic. Clock at six. Booker with it. Defended by Thompson. With the fadeaway. They grab their own miss. And it's good for two. Beal. Beal's got nine. And just putting the moves to work right there. I mean, Beal manages to get his shot in spite of the contact. It's hauled in by the Suns. Durant's got six rebounds in the game. Booker against Thompson. Booker, the pass to Nurkic. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins has got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Curry. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist in this one. The Suns have got just two of six in the second half. Here's Okogi. Give him eight. Beal from outside. Another score. His fifth make out of ten tries. Yeah, Beal is a real volume three-point shooter. The defense cannot afford to let him get hot from the arc. Wiggins outside. Pass to Thompson. Gets a very good look and converts. Nine points in the game. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. A Kogi on the wing. Thompson with a steal. Pass to Wiggins from behind the arc. 
The Suns clear it. Outside Booker. Here's Okogi. And here's Nurkic for three. The shot, no good. Now here's Thompson. He's covered closely. Shot from 12. Durant pulls it in. Durant's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And he can't get that one. Thompson with some nice D. Green, the pass to Curry. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Phoenix has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Here's Durant. Green with the defensive effort. The Warriors have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Curry from deep three-point land. Phoenix grabs the miss. Durant's got nine rebounds now. Outside Booker. Wiggins against Beal. Back to Booker. Here's Okogie. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Okogie's got 11 points. In full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. Here's Curry. That won't go either for Curry. Phoenix has gone 3 of 5 from downtown here in the second half. And Durant gets it to go. 14 points for him. I love the confidence that Durant plays with. The closer he gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. The Suns trailing. Right side Booker for the lead. And the Suns get another three. And another one. That's five total threes on the night from him so timeout, far. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Nice game. Great performance by Devin Booker. He'll just keep hurting them from the three-point land if they let him. Here's a chance for Coach to change that. Warrior 15. Looney's checked in for Draymond Green. Cole, he's checked in for the Suns. O'Neal comes in for Okogi. On the wing, Thompson. Booker defending. Thompson passes to Looney. And here's Curry. Shoots over Beal. Shot is good by Curry. Curry's got 20 points. Well, Curry's accuracy makes the mid-range easy pick as he just goes up, nails the shot with ease. Here's Bull. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. They get the rebound. Damn, that one's good. Nurkic just got four points now in the quarter. Hard work pays off with a rebound and a bucket. That's just great fundamental. Curry against Beal. Right side Curry. That three's off the mark. For Phoenix, they've gotten 7 of 15 shots to hit in the second half. Here's Bowl. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. And it's a four-point Suns lead. Rock the baby. Working the size advantage inside. Pass to Thompson. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his third foul of the game. And the Warriors making a switch here. Paul's checked in. Eubanks, he's checked in for Phoenix. Gordon comes in for Devin Booker. Here's Thompson. Nine points in the game. Phoenix foul. Bowl, bowl. Third person foul. Third team foul. Now Paul. He's got 13. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Pass to Gordon. Out to Beal. Takes the three. And it's cleared by Stephen Curry. The Warriors trailing. Here's Paul. They get it again. Gets another look. Tipped. 
They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Here's Gordon. Here's Bowl. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Suns. One shot. Here's Curry. Give him 20. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Pass to Looney. The fader. The shot comes out. The Suns go the other way with it. And here's Beal. 12 points for him. Gordon outside from the arc. The shot misses. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. And here's Curry for three. Nails it from three. Curry's got 13 points here in the second half alone. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? Gordon, right side. It's a three-on-three three fast break. The shot. Gets it to go from the corner. Now just a two-point Suns lead. On a night like tonight, Steph Curry is must-watch basketball. He can score from anywhere. Pass to Bowl. Two minutes remaining. Here's O'Neal. Oh, he finds himself wide open and drills it. Assisted by. And the Suns lead by four. Ball passes to Thompson. Now Curry. 141 left in the third quarter. Shot clock at five. Here's Paul. And there's another one for the Warriors. Let's just say this hasn't been his quarter. Uh, yeah, he's shooting 20% in it so far. All right, here's a tip for the defense in this one. Avoid sending Chris Paul to the line at all costs because he will punish you if you do. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. His fourth personal foul. We'll see how the coaching staff handles this. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Curry against Gordon. This for the tie! It's hauled in by the Suns. Eubanks, he's got six rebounds now in the game. Ball against Beal. Pass to Eubanks. And it's going to be a three-second call. It's a close one here in San Francisco. Now here's Thompson. Down low. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. Beal, the pass to Gordon. Here's Bull. Wide open look. That shot off the mark. You can't ask for a cleaner look than that. He just couldn't deliver. And here's Thompson for three. Bowl grabs the board. Pass to Beal. Over Paul. Here's Eubanks. Yes! And the foul! It's on Stephen Curry. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. At the line for the Suns, Drew Eubanks. At the line for one. One shot.
play and a close one here. The Suns on top. They lead by three. And we'll be back right after this. 85. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the court for the Suns, getting the fourth quarter going. Kevin Durant is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's Okogi in at the three. Curry's shot is off. The Suns leading. Here's Okogi. It's Beal on the wing. Shoots over Curry. Beal's shot is off. And the Warriors shooting about 43% on this one. Durant pulls it in. Durant's got 11 rebounds in the game. Takes it inside. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. Unique body type. Durant slips past you in a hurry. Back to Curry. Yes, it's good. Curry's got 17 points here in the second half. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Nurkic. And it's Stephen Curry with the rebound. Curry's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. To the middle. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First personal foul. Yusuf Nurkic picks one up. He took the contact and had an opportunity to train it. Jackson Davis. Two shots. one falls for him. Wiggins, he's checked in for the Warriors. And so he hits both. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Beal, the pass to Booker. Back to Beal. Outside Durant. From deep three-point range. Warriors with the rebound. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. Pass to Wiggins. On target from range down the stretch. It's still anyone's game. Incredible effort and energy on both sides. These guys must be gassed. Here's Okogi. Deflects the pass. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. Here's Green. And he lays it in off the breakaway. Now it's a four-point Warrior lead. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for the Warriors. Beal, the pass to Nurkic. Looking to end the run. No good. Green with the defensive effort. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. And the Warriors lead by seven. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. Phoenix calls timeout. They have been pretty disgusting offensively. Too many miscues. They've got to get to the bottom of it. go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. During that break, Coach Frank Vogel had some advice for his team. 
He said, quote, we are within striking distance. This is where we take over and turn this game into our favor. Let's go get it. Okay, thanks, Allie. Pass to Durant. Back to Beal. Shoots over Curry. And Beal gets it to go on the assist by Durant. Durant's got his fourth assist with that last one. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. Nice D from Beal. The Suns have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Here's Okogi. From outside, off the mark. Golden State has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Outside Curry. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second personal foul. If the ball Second handling isn't foul. enough to mesmerize you, what about the little up fake by Curry? At the line for the Warriors, Stephen Curry. At the line for two. And that one falls for Curry. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. And so Curry nails both of them. Perhaps the greatest shooter the game has ever seen. Curry continues to age like fine wine. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. The floater. Booker can't get it to go. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. And the ball out of play. The Suns will have it. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Beal. Nurkic with the ball. Let's it fly. Durant with the bucket. Durant. Durant's got four points this quarter. As versatile as they have come in NBA history, Durant just makes it look so easy. Wiggins passes to Green. Now here's Curry. Three-pointer. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Nurkic just got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Beal. He can't get that one to fall. Here's Golden State. They're on a 14-4 run. Wiggins passes to Curry. Beal with some nice D. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Pass to Wiggins. Defended by Nurkic. And he's going for the lob! And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Beal outside. Outside Booker. Here's Okogi. Offensive rebound. Shot by Nurkic. No good. The Warriors have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Booker defending. Let's it fly. And right through it goes. And the Warriors lead by seven. A nice rhythm to his game here late. He's hit three out of four this quarter, looking to put him over the top. And stolen by Green. Wiggins, left side. Tries again. And it's Green missing. Well, the Sun's shooting around 44%. Not bad. Beal against Curry. Pass to Booker, and there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. 
Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. Defended by Nurkic. Rebounded by Nurkic. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounded. To the inside. And Durant with the big finish. Well, Durant must be making the defense sweat a little bit right now. Whenever he gets into a rhythm, he gets aggressive. This one for three. It's hauled in by Beal. Beal's got eight rebounds in the game. Here's Booker. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Collecting plenty of second chance points this half. That alone can keep a team in a game. Time, time, time called out. here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. Can you say vintage? <laughs> wow, this was a vintage performance. I mean, so much of the game is about the three ball today, but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside. Off the inbound. Nurkic with some nice D. The Suns trailing. It's Beal on the wing. With some arc. The Warriors pull it in. Wiggins has got rebound number eight now. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Phoenix has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Pass to Beal. Now Booker. Oh, they get a hand on it. Curry with it. Now guarded by Booker. He drops it from range. And the Warriors lead by six. This quarter has been all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hands. Beal finds Booker. Back to Beal. Outside Durant. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Durant's got 10 points in just the second half. Golden State has gone three of six from downtown so far on the fourth. Pulls it. And the basket by Curry. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Here's Beal. Sweet little floater. Talk about trusting Beal in the big moments. No matter the stakes, he can find a shot. Curry passes to Green. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. Oh, here in the fourth quarter, he's five for seven from the field. Here's Beal, and he drives in. The Warriors pull it in. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Wiggins outside. Throws it up high and stolen by Durant. Beal outside. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. I like when Beal looks to score inside because it forces the D to get physical with him. Shooting for Phoenix. Bradley Beal. Two shots. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Beal. And the Warriors making a change here. Thompson's checked in. And 
Beal drops them both. And in a close game like this, they can really rely on him to take care of business at the line. Wiggins outside. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. No good there. And Phoenix the other way now. It's Beal on the wing. Green covering. Beal's shot is off. Showing great intensity around the rim. It's part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. And an understanding of how to defend at the rim. Never afraid of a little physical play, Wiggins embraces the challenge of scoring on a tough defense. Here's Beal. That shot is off. Curry with some nice D. Three on three. The three from Thompson. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Durant's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Here's Beal. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Outside Curry. Pass to Thompson. Wiggins for three. It's hauled in by Beal. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Over Curry. That doesn't go either for Beal. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. Yeah, right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Now here's Curry. From the low block. And he gets that one. Curry's got 33. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality. Even with the game in total control. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Timeout call for the Suns. They're down by eight. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Not much time left. You think they have a chance to come back? We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. That one goes. Count it. <laughs> and bam. I mean, coaches love Beal late in the game. He's got long range, great off the bounce, a true star in the league. At the line for the Dubs, Clay Thompson taking two shots. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Yeah, they fought as hard as they could. Just wasn't in the cards tonight. Beal's shot is good. We all know Beal might be a shorter off guard at 6'3", but Bradley has heart. He plays way bigger than that listed height. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. At the line for two. Free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so both free throws good. And it's an eight-point ball game. Timeout called. The Suns. They're behind by eight. 
19 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. All right, guys, what do you think? And time's running short. They just couldn't get over that hump. And I'm sure Coach is encouraging them to play to the final whistle. <laughs> then they can get out of here. Deal against Payton. Now here's Beal. Not a lot of room. And he gets it to go. Beal. The consistency of Beal's scoring has been terrific. And of course, his teammates keep working hard to facilitate Team to him. Foul. And now we've got Team an intentional foul. First personal foul. Team is in the penalty. At the line for the Warriors. Moses Moody. Two shots. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up making the second. And that makes it a seven point lead. Launches a three. The triple. And since going to the finals no, back no, in 2021, Booker's earned the reputation of a winning player. And the Warriors call time here. And They're in front by four. And Three seconds left in the game. 15. with it and so it's the Warriors who come out on top here boy they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves but at the end of the day everyone on their side is happy yeah happy indeed the momentum shifted away from them a few times especially you know Brent after a few years of small ball uh, getting even smaller it's feeling like now there is a resurgence of the big man yeah, I don't know, Kevin, if that's because last year we had three potential MVP candidates that all played a bigger position, but you got to have one of those guys in order for you to say that we are going to accentuate the biggest player on the floor to do the things needed to get wins. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Booker out there with Bradley Beal. And it's Durant. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic. And it's Akogi in at the small forward. Now here's Curry. After the miss from KD. Back to Curry. Puts up a three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. Yeah, you, you saw the communication breakdowns defensively. Just giving up way too many open looks. Now, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Well, Frank Vogel had a few minutes to share with me. He's confident in their ability to win the battle with the low post. That's where he'd like to see most of the action take place. Kevin, I think we can expect them to pound the ball down low every chance they get. Let their big men go to work. Thank you, David. Now, here's Curry. A 32-point game for him in the win against Orlando. Thompson outside. And again, it's the Warriors missing. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. The Warriors have gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals. And the shot goes in. And boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. Now the pass to Okogi. Back to Beal. All alone. And he nails the jumper. Bradley Beal. And I'm not sure. Bradley Beal has to be somewhere high up on the scouting report, and the defense lost him. Curry takes to Wiggins. 
There's the dish to Green. Golden State moving it around. And now here's Durant, the fast break opportunity. And there's the lay-in. Phenomenal basketball instincts by Durant. Picks that one clean and then sends it the other way. Thompson outside. Wiggins outside. Shot clock at six. It's Curry outside. Good on the three-point shot. This is why Steph Curry is virtually unguardable. When he's sinking those kind of shots, it just devastates you defensively. Here's a Kogi. Here's Booker. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Here's Wiggins. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Okogi. That's the aggressive part of Andrew Wiggins coming out of him, forcing the defender that time to get his hand in there. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Andrew Wiggins at the line for two. Shooting two. And that one misses. Uh, Wiggins has showed himself over the past couple seasons as being a great two-way player. And he can still do damage on the offensive end. Don't get that twisted. And he's good on the second. So it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Suns. To the wing right side. Here's a Kogi. Back to Beal. Here's the three. Curry with the rebound. The Warriors have gone 2 or 6 in the field. Thompson against Booker. The shot by Thompson, no good. Suns trailing. And it's Beal in the corner. Left side Durant over Green. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Curry outside. No good. He's off to a slow start. One for four so far. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. They get a hand on it. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. That shot misses. Good D by Booker. Puts it up from 15. Good as the jump shot falls. KD's got six points. Golden State's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Curry can't get it to go. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. He's just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Time out, time out. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. The Suns beat them last time these two teams met in Phoenix. It was a loss last time they faced up against each other. A very tightly contested game that they felt they could have won. Man, felt like they probably would have won if they weren't saddled with all that foul trouble. They had to piece together some makeshift lineups late in that game. That might have cost them. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Here's the three, and Thompson gets it to go in on the assist by Curry. And Clay Thompson, one of those guys where you hit the switch as a lights out shooter. Here's a Kogi. He's been quiet so far, still no points in the game. And the officials will call the illegal shot right there. And that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor, not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Golden State's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Outside, green. Right 
to the middle. Here's Thompson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second personal foul. It goes on Second Devin Booker. Foul. Clay takes that foul and At still getting line, his shot the off. The Warriors have converted Clay one of two free throws Thompson. so far today. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And I think just everyone around basketball wanting to get Clay Thompson back to 100% health. I mean, this guy is a force and the lights out score from all areas on the floor. The Suns making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. And so Thompson nails both of them. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Beal, the pass to Katie. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Passes to Gordon. Over Thompson. No good. Shot missing. And Golden State will go the other way with it. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Back to Curry. The shot is good off the backboard. Curry's got five. And that's just a good look from Clay as his teammate was open. Beal dishes to Gordon. Pass to a Kogi. Kicks it to Durant. Five to shoot. And the Suns miss again. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Now here's Wiggins in the game against Orlando. Very impressive. Back to Curry. Shoots the three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got three assists now in this one. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit chat with the team to settle down. The Warriors making a switch here. Paul's checked in. Well, a chance to check out some stats for him. Here's Beal. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Cleveland. Pass to Durant. Shot to stop the run. Can't hit that one. The Warriors go the other way with it. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And in that one, the backups came to play. Gave the team an infusion of points that just put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench, a big factor in that win. Here's Beal after the made shot from Clay Thompson. There's the pass to Nurkic. Here is Durant. Over Green. Durant. That's good. Durant. KD's got eight points. Impressive, really, from that short 17 area. They are not missing many. Paul kicks to Thompson. Now Wiggins. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. It's good. And the Warriors lead by eight. Hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. A Kobe, the best to Durant, with nobody on him. He buries the jumper. Assisted by. And that's now 10 Josh points for KD. This is a one man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Thompson inside. He's against Gordon. Chalk up two there. Nine points in the game so far. Clay is pretty physical as an off guard and willing to go in there and take a bump. Here's a Kogi. 
No points in the game yet for him. And Beal gets it to go. And you can see he's got a little bounce in his step. Three out of four to start. Thompson against Gordon. Here's Paul. And the Warriors take yeah. in two more. Anytime CP3 gets inside the three-point line, or especially inside the top of the key, he's an immediate threat. This is it to be. Plenty of space. Wiggins with the rebound. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. Green left side. The feed to Paul. Over Beal. Paul with the bucket. Paul's got his second bucket of the night. Now, what a setup there. Green plays with great speed and plays with great pace. And that's a nice field play. Not loose. Paul with the steal. And here we go. That's great. Paul's got it. Shoots over Beal. Beal with the block. 152 left here in the opening quarter. Kicks it out to Gordon. A three ball. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. The flash shaping up, guys. Well, let's uh, take a moment here to check it out. Now that the mid-season grind is well underway. You take a look at the Warriors. They're holding on to second spot in the conference. A great season for them so far. And, of course, the Suns just need to take it a game at a time. And right now for Phoenix, they're already looking to the offseason. And that's a shame. Their fans deserve a little bit more from this team. And the body language right now kind of telling the story. Losing takes a huge toll on you, especially during an 82-game grind. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Eubanks, he's checked in for Phoenix. Suns trailed by nine. Outside, Beal. 122 left in the first quarter. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. The Suns making a switch here. Bowles checked in. Bowles, Bowles. One twenty-one left here in the first quarter. Outside Gordon. Lock at six. He doesn't hit that one. Good D by Thompson. Here's Golden State. They're on a 20 to 7 run. Two points. That one goes. Six points for him. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Phoenix Suns. 11-point game. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Yeah, the defender all over. Jackson Davis. First the Suns shooting their first free throws here tonight. At the line for the Suns, Drew Eubanks taking two shots. First free throw is good. Good on both. Warriors leading by nine. Pass to Thompson. Ball outside. Shoots from 14. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. 
Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Bull banked in off the glass. Bull, bull. The, the towering presence that is Bull. Good at staying active and going after those offensive rebounds. Heel against Paul. And it's good for two. Paul's got six points. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Warriors. What didn't he do in that quarter? A fantastic all-around effort. We've got more in store for you right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stats wise? Well, look at the turnover ratio, then look at the score. Easy to see what happened in that first period. Yeah, hopefully the opposition can recover because that first quarter defensively was unbelievable, just crippling defense. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Here's Beal. It's rebounded by Paul. Warriors leading by nine. Thompson high post and Phoenix pushing it up now. Here's a Kogi and he uses both hands to jam it in. Great effort and gets in a little razzle dazzle at the end of that one. Yeah, why not? Show a little creativity, get inside, move that ball around, just make sure you score. All finds Thompson. Launches a three and Chris Paul hits from deep. He's got nine. Brent, do you think shooting has improved over the years, or are there just more good shooters on the floor? Well, Kevin, if you had a bubble, I'd be bursting it right now, because if you look back over the last 10 years, maybe go 20 years, shooting has not changed. Percentages have not changed, both from two-point land, three-point land, free-throw line. It's not that there are more good shooters in the league. There's just more surprises as to who it is you see taking the shots. Now, Paul, Bradley Beal missing from long range. Pass to Kaminga. Over Booker. That shot is off. And Phoenix will come the other way. Akogi, the pass to Beal. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Curry's checked in for the Warriors. And for the Suns, Yusuf Nurkic comes in for Eubanks. And Kevin Durant is subbed in for Bull. Durant with it. He's coming off a 10-point game against Cleveland. I felt like in that game, too, he was a man on a mission defensively. Finishing up with four steals is an impressive feat. And you can tell, takes pride in that part of the game. And it's Kaminga at the elbow. Thompson surveying the floor. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Clinic there on the use of the pump fake from Clay Thompson. Good job of drawing the contact on that play. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Absolutely dialed in Take a break. from beyond Take a break. the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. That free throw good from Thompson. And so Thompson nails both of them. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. And the pass to Okogi. And here's Booker. 
Pass to Beal. Six to shoot. Unloads from 13. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Warriors leading by 12. Thompson outside. Paul outside from past the arc. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists now tonight. About CP3 getting drafted all the way back in 2005. Still putting up big nights scoring it. Phoenix calls timeout. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Here's Beal. He's got seven. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see them get up like that. Suns trail by 17. Pass to a Kogi. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Beal against Paul. Just five to shoot. To end the cold streak. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Thompson's got his fourth rebound in this one. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. And he gets it back. Paul finds Thompson. Pass to Kurt. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. That's 10 points for Stephen Curry. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And the Suns call time. And Coach can't be happy. And, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. And there's the pass to a Kogi. Ball against Beal. Booker outside. Nurkic trying to get open. Devin Booker, Booker. and that's good. Three-pointer. Booker's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Thompson outside. Booker against Curry. There's the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Curry's got five points now this quarter. And they're right around. 50% for the game on their threes, and they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. For three, Booker, it's rebounded by Kaminga. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Thompson. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. Ball outside. The three hits the three-point bomb. Paul's got 15 points. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Outside, Beal. Back to Booker. Outside, Durant. Shot clock at six. Gets in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Curry fires from way outside. Off target with his three. Suns trail by 20. And it's Beal in the corner. And the three ball is good. He's got 10. And they're hitting the long-range shots that they were missing in the first quarter, but still have ground to make up. Paul dishes to Kaminga. Passes it to Thompson. And it's Durant with the rebound. KD's got six rebounds now in the game.
inside. Here's Beal. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. And 12 points for Beal. And Beal finds a way to the bucket. How did he do that? Thompson outside. Ball against Beal. Free throw line jump shot. The shot's good from Paul. Paul's got 11 here in this quarter alone. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. KD passes to Booker. Nurkic trying to get open. Booker good. Doing most of his damage on the perimeter. That time Devin Booker showing he could score close to the rim. Thompson outside. Looking for Kaminga. He gets it there. And the passer floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Now here's Beal. 12 points for him. Knocks it loose. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Curry leading the charge. Suns trail by 17. Booker dishes to Durant. And the jam by Kevin Durant. And using all of his seven foot five wingspan, Durant turns backwards. Thompson outside. Pass to Curry. Now here's Kaminga. Guarded by KD. Shot clock at five. Call for three. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Here's a Kogi. Over Thompson. A Kogi misses. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot off. Pass to a Kogi. Back to Beal. Here's a Kogi. He's covered by Thompson. Feeds it to Nurkic. Just his first attempt. Goes back up. And it's good on the way up. And Nurkic does a great job just keeping the motor running. Warriors leading by 19. And that's a foul. Called on Bradley Beal. That's his first foul. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. It, it really a tough break for the D. And the Warriors with some changes. Raymond Green comes in for Jonathan Kaminga. And Wiggins is subbed in for Paul. And the Suns making a change here as well. O'Neal's check in for Josh Akogi. Wiggins outside. Curry outside. That balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And Beal kicks to Booker. Back to Beal. From the line. No good. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Green finds Thompson. Some nice passing by Golden Stadium. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two. Curry passes to Green. Takes the three. And another three for Golden State. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, this guy will be an all-time broadcaster. Already a popular podcast. Great TV studio appearances as well. Here's Wiggins. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. And Draymond Green, the next broadcasting star. You've watched his work. Why is that? And Kevin, I think his basketball IQ is incredible. And we see that when he plays, but he can also vocalize it to the audience. And of course, Draymond is not afraid to say what he thinks. First free throw is good. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Eubanks, he's checked in for Phoenix. Bowl comes in for Kevin Durant. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Phoenix has gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just two of six from long range. 
Booker outside. Outside Beal to halt the run. A shot missing. And Golden State will go the other way with it. 106 left from the first half of basketball. Curry fires from way outside. An absolute bomb from three-point range. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Booker the pass to Eubanks. Wiggins outside. The pass to Thompson. Phoenix grabs the miss. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Bowl dishes to Booker. It's stolen by Green. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Dishes to Curry. One second left, and it's Golden State with another. The defense has all eyes on Stefan. He exploits that with a dish. And so it's the Golden State Warriors leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in the... Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors, you The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He ended up with 22 points, three rebounds, and three assists. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what you think? There was no shortage of dimes on this team, that's for sure. Numerous guys displayed good court vision, moved the ball, led to great shots. They're in full control of this game. And over to Shaq, what did you think about Phoenix? When you look at their multiple areas of weakness, for me, it starts with their perimeter defense. This organization, chaos, a lot of wide open looks. They have to communicate better and stay connected to the shooters. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Fans, give it up for your Warriors. And with the big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Checking out the group of Frank Vogel to start the second half. We've got Durant. Bradley Beal is out there with Devin Booker. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's a Kogi in at the small forward. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. A Kogi, the pass to Booker. Now here's Beal. Left side Durant, five on the clock. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got three assists in the game. Higgins outside. Beal against Curry. To the inside. Here's Green. And it's Durant with the rebound. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for the Suns. In for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. Much stronger player now is KD, and that time powered through the contact. Passes it to Thompson. Golden State moving the ball around. Higgins outside. Good 
it on the jump shot. Well, assists like that have typified the play effort play. today. Terrific ball movement. Pass to a Kogi. Back to Beal. Fires for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Curry with him. Guarded now by Durant. Wiggins dishes to Green. To the middle. Here's Curry. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Curry's got 24 points. And Curry kicking it up a notch right now. Not slowing him down on offense. Back to Beal. And here is KD. 18 points for him. That one Kevin drops for him. Rams. He's got 20. Okay, good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. Wiggins finds Curry. Thompson outside. On deep. No good that time. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Here's a Kogi. Pass to Beal. Left side Durant. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. And it goes on Draymond Green. Well, the great ones can do this. When Durant gains an advantage inside, you know he's going to score or he's going to get fouled. That free throw, no good. One of the purest scorers the game has ever seen. Durant continues to somehow get better each year. And the second free throw, good. Warriors have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Curry against Beal. Curry kicks to Thompson. And there's the pass to Wiggins. A three-pointer off the mark. And it's Phoenix's ball. Here's Durant. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Assistant. Beal's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. Curry passes to Wiggins. Now here's Curry. He's got 24. Lock at six. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Adley Beal picks one up. Curry excellent at reading the defense and taking advantage of any mistake. This is his first free throw of the game. And, and you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. And he makes the first. And more artwork from the greatest shooter we've ever seen. Curry making it look easy. Stephen Curry hits them both. For Phoenix, they've gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Back to Beal. Here's a Kogi. Over to the left wing. Here's Nurkic. It's rebounded by Golden State. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat out miss. Oh, the officials are all over that. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Play the three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up, and boy, have they. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. And the first one drops.
And so Thompson nails both of them. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Passes it to a Kogi. Nurkic finds Booker. Off target from three-point range. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Outside, Beal. Pass to Booker. Here's Beal. Now, Nurkic. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. A nice shot by Booker. Booker. Booker, a fantastic shooter. When he's got his feet underneath him, he's one of the best in the league. Wiggins outside. Beal against Curry. Thompson outside. Golden State moving it around. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Booker with no one around cans it from downtown. Booker's got 10. This is what you like to see from Booker just firing with confidence right off the catch. Oh, and there's the foul. It's on Josh Okogie. That's foul number two for him. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Wiggins. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Back to Thompson. He's guarded by Nurkic. Down to five on the shot clock. Nice pass. Right into the rack perfectly for the layup. Curry's got 28 points for the game. And I like it when Stephen Curry gets to the inside and goes up strong. Just wants to convert from there when he gets the chance. Fires the three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Beal deciding where to go with it. Golden State foul. Jackson Davis. Eric Gordon, he's checked Second in for Josh Akogi. Second team foul. Sun sub, Eric Gordon. Outside Gordon. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Even though Eric Gordon went in amongst the bigger guys on the floor, he's able to remain calm and get two. Back to Paul. He dishes it to Green. And Thompson kicks to Green. Six on the shot clock. Curry can't get it to go. Well, he was terrific in the first half, guys. Maybe some adjustments from the yeah, opposing Booker. team coach, and he's lost a little bit of that touch here in the second. Maybe the halftime break was good for him, allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. Back to Curry. Thompson outside. Here's the three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. Beal, the pass to Gordon. Back to Beal. Tipped away. Paul with the steal. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And Chris Paul, when he gets into those tight spots, he becomes pretty smart in that. Well, Frank Chris Paul is undoubtedly one of the smartest players in the NBA. And, and that's why he's been able to maintain such a high level of play for so long. As one of his teammates said, he has an IQ that's going to keep him on the floor until he's 50. That free throw missing. Not much more you can say about CP3. Name a better floor leader. There's not one. So for the Suns, Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic, and it's Bowl in for Beal. Second free throw, no good. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Down low. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
First person. Well, Eric Gordon is always a threat Third, as a two foul. guard to score. However, the defense Shooting gets a little too physical with him there, Gordon. which is why he gets two to shots. the free throw line. The Suns shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And typically a strength of their 79% on the season. A free throw good from Eric Gordon. And the Warriors making a change here. Moody's checked in. And so he hits both. Paul with the ball. 20 points for him. Pass to Moody. And here's Looney. The pass to Moody. Shoots over KD. Offensive rebound. Eyes yet again. He takes it up and lays it in. Looney's got his first basket of the night. Come on, Looney on the inside doing a little bit of damage now. Outside Durant. Pass to Gordon. Launches it. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got six rebounds in the game. A teardrop falls in. Draymond Green adding the floater in the offseason. Touche. Booker the bounce pass. Gordon finds Booker. Pull from the top of the key. Good for his Devin sixth Booker. make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Green taking his time here. Now, here's Moody. Defense right on him. Pass to Looney. And here is Moody. Lock at six. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, we know he's undersized for the position, but Draymond Green does the work of several men, including how he forces the D that time the foul. The Warriors have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free throw line in the game. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Amazing to think about Draymond Green and the career arc he's had thus far. He really can guard any position on the floor. He can make plays. Really a unique talent. O'Neal's checked in for the Suns. And he sinks the second. Phoenix has gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Here's Bowl. Pass to O'Neal. It's picked off. Shoots it. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Two minutes remaining in the third. Here's Booker. Two minutes. Again, Phoenix. Tough Devin to guard Booker. Devin Booker on a quick pick and roll with his size and speed. He can be very dangerous in these sets. Here's the pass to Moody. To the paint. The lead pass Moses was put in just the right spot. Moses Big Moody. miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. 
They get a hand on it. And now Paul pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Count that bucket. Paul's got 22. And on that kind of play, no one can match up with Paul going back the other way. Just too crafty and too skilled. He's going to do damage. Offensive rebound. Booker. And there's the bucket. Yeah, Staying with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Well, recognizing the size mismatch and then turns it into an easy basket there. They've got to do a better job with defensive help. Launches a three. And Bull pulls it down. Bulls got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Passes to Moody. Takes a three. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got four assists now tonight. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And Booker kicks to O'Neal. Back to Booker. Over Paul. And it's Looney with the rebound. Down low. Kicks it out to Paul. Over O'Neal. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a 34-point advantage heading into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? What an advantage if your off guard can make plays so valuable. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. We've got Kaminga. Charge is out there with Kavon Looney. Then there's Moody. O'Neal with the rebound. The Sun shooting 47% from the floor, getting it done. And the dunk by Booker. And there's not a thing you can do against Devin Booker when he's heating up like this. And it's Kaminga at the elbow. Pass to Sharch. Now, here's Moody. Buries the long-range jumper. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. He kicks it to O'Neal. Pass to Gordon. And the foul Warriors called on foul. Kavon Looney. Kavon Looney. That is his first foul first of the game. Foul. We're seeing a lot of pretty lively pregame dance routines from the players. The you got any of that in your oh, repertoire, say, before we begin a broadcast? Oh, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, I, I think pretty soon we should work out a few sequences. You know, get ourselves fired up. <laughs> you game? No. Come on, Greg. I'm not sure about that. But you, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> Clock at four. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Bradley Beal right there just using the force to get to the free throw line. At the line for the Suns, Bradley Beal taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Bradley Beal, another indicator of him doing a little bit of everything for this team. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Kaminga, no good. 
The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Now the pass to Gordon. Taken away. From the arc. It's not going to go for him. Now the Suns take it the other way. On the wing, Gordon. And a couple years ago, the NBA played with a 72-game schedule. Think the NBA will ever shorten the number of games long-term and go back to that number? I don't know, Kevin, but this idea of the mid-season tournament seems to be gaining more and more traction, and there's a lot more interest in what it would do to the competitiveness of the middle part of the season. And I think we're all for something like that, where something's on the line, and we see guys elevated in that element. Gordon, the pass to Beal. From outside, off the mark. Warriors have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Inside, Looney. Phoenix grabs the miss. Outside, Beal. Misses in close. It's stolen. That one, no good. The Warriors go the other way with it. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. To the wing on the left for three. And Bull pulls it down. Phoenix has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Number two. Feel with a nice job. A little bit pesky that time inside. At the line for the Suns, Bradley Beal. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Beal. Imano Ginobili recently inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame, and you won a couple rings with that guy. Give us some memories you can share about the great Ginobili. Oh, man. Uh, Manu is absolutely one of my favorite teammates of all time, Kevin, and one of the most delightful people that you ever could be around. I just think about the practices and the plane rides and him just joking around, and, and then something happens it gets on the floor it gets into the fourth quarter it's time to win timeout, and it's timeout. basically Manu Ginobili time so I'm thrilled that he's in the Hall of Fame and he deserves every bit of it timeout called the Warriors giving up a run here can, can they turn it around it's hard to say right now at this point I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense is there a fourth I'm not sure A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Passes it to Looney. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Phoenix Suns. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. On the high post, he drills it. Beal's got 20 points. Now that's some flashy footwork there from Bradley Beal. He's covered by Beal. And stolen by Bull. Now here's Beal. Guarded closely. Past O'Neal. The dish now to Beal. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Just five on the clock to the left side wing. Bull. It's rebounded by Kaminga. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. The leadership of the NBA Players Association, Greg, has said they support expansion. And two cities, which seem to be the leading candidates, Seattle and Las Vegas. What do you think? Well, I love both. Had the good fortune of playing 
in both cities and I'd love to see a team in my hometown but bottom line more teams bold, means bold. more jobs and that's the sentiment I think most can get behind. That's to Moody. Kuminga with it. Tires from deep. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Looney in the right spot there. Good presence on the inside as he boxes the defense out and sends the ball right up. Beal the pass to Bull. That shot off. And for the Warriors, they're shooting just 30% from the field here in the fourth. Got that one up quick. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. The tray. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. To the inside. Here's Sharp. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one is on bolt. I like the effort there from Sharic on the jumper. Sees the defender, but still sticks with it. Taking two shots. First one falls for him. And player nicknames are a fun part of covering the games. Now a lot of guys, GA, are just going with their initials, like KD or AD or KG. <laughs> Do we need more creativity? I don't know, Kevin. Maybe the league could give guys a cash bonus for picking a nickname. Uh, initials excluded. Uh, that might spark some creativity. He's off on the second. Last season, of course, Marcus Smart. On the defensive player of the year. You know, Greg, it, it's rare to see a guard win it. Should perimeter players get more consideration from this point on? Uh, it's tough, Kev. I, I do think they should. And I think the, the numbers, though, tend to favor Bradley the Beal. rim protectors. But it's only right to recognize great defense at every position, especially in an age of positionless basketball. Moody the pass to Looney. Great D that time from Beal. For Phoenix, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Now, here is O'Neal. Kicks the ball. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. So for the Suns, Nasir Little comes in for Royce O'Neal. And Grayson Allen subbed in for Beal. And here are the Warriors now. The pass to Moody. Dishes it to Sharch. Baden outside. Back to Sharch. Lets it go with a three. Sinks the triple. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. Back to Allen. Phoenix needs to get off a shot. Little can't hit. Golden State's gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. And the call will go against Grayson Allen. Personal foul. That is his first foul of the game. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. On the wing, Peyton. Looney up top. He feeds it to Sharch. Comes up empty down low. Phoenix has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. So it's the Warriors now. Passes it to Moody. 
outside, Payton. And the call will go against Grayson Allen. That's foul number two for him. Craig, you read about Jimmy Butler starting his own coffee company, and he did that in the NBA bubble, and he drinks, he said, about, about five cups of coffee a day. Do a lot of NBA players drink coffee to keep them going and get that extra burst? Absolutely. I, I remember drinking coffee on the bench late in my career. Uh, it, it's kind of a comfort food. Warms you up a little bit. And all good things that can get you ready for action. Um, how frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Yeah, that pops your confident balloon out there, just completely deflating when plays like that happen. Lee, left side. Five to shoot. The shot will not fall. The Warriors go the other way with it. And Sharich kicks to Robinson. Looney passes to Robinson. That one doesn't go. Excellent tee there from Allen. Lee dishes to Little. And it's Little finishing it off. And Nasir Little making that look easy. Golden State's gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. Moody the pass to Looney. Peyton outside. Pass to Moody. Over Lee. Moody's shot is off. For Phoenix, they've gone 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth, right around 46, 47 percent, and it's in there. And at 7-2, Bowl has incredible vision, including noticing when his teammates are open. Pass to Moody. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 156 left in the fourth quarter, and he finishes nicely on the way. That's 10 points for Moses Moody. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Here's Bull. And Moody pulls it down. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Robinson passes to Moody. Rumors continue to fly about possible league expansion. Brent, any cities you'd like to see join the league? Oh, man, there's, there's a lot of great options out there, Kevin. But I would like to see the league go to 32 and have 16 in each conference. I think that would be great. And there's a city in the Pacific Northwest that deserves a team. And I think you know where I'm talking about, Seattle. Here's Allen. Some solid defense from Robinson. And for the Warriors, they're shooting an efficient 53% from the field. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Warriors. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. 30 wins on the year now. Really a big-time win for these guys. They lost their first two games of the year to this team, so they won't be in danger of getting swept when they meet for the fourth time. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Stephen Curry. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. And lots of intrigue around Nasir Little and how it is that his game is going to evolve since entering the league. He's consistently worked on developing all of his abilities, shooting, defense, rebounding. And the sky's the limit here. on the second free throw. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. 
And the pass to Moody. Outside Robinson. Here's Looney. Here's Moody. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Third person foul. Clearly a foul. Team sport. At the line for the Warriors, Moses Moody. Two shots. Throw good, Moody. He hits both from the strike. Now Allen. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They poured it out in a dominant showing in front of the crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing this at their best. I mean, being here at home. And looking at both of these teams, Richard, both great passing squads, two of the better assist teams in the NBA. This is how basketball was intended to be played. A team offense making the extra pass, moving the ball. This is the type of basketball that basketball people love to watch. Oh, it's a beautiful brand of ball for sure. Just a joy to watch. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. They've got Bradley Beal. Kevin Durant is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. Then it's Josh Okogie, and it's Booker in at the two. Now here's Curry. Okogie pulls down the board. Here's Beal. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. His position might be shooting guard, but Beal has no problems taking it inside. Wiggins outside. Pass to Green. Shoots over Durant, and the Something foul is called. He Kevin missed it, Durant. so he's got a couple of free throws first, coming first his way. Foul. It goes on first Kevin Durant. Foul. At the line for the Dubs, Dream on Green. At the line for two. Oh, take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. The quintessential glue guy. Green does all the dirty work. You need one of these guys on your team because he has such a diverse skill set. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Here's Phoenix. Durant, the pass to Beal. And here's Booker, defended by Thompson. For three, Durant. The Warriors pull it in. The Suns beat them last time when these two met in Phoenix. Last time they lost a close one against this team. You have to wonder what they could have done if it wasn't for their foul trouble in that game. Getting into foul trouble will really handcuff you, and they found that out last time. Here's Okogi. Inside, from nine feet out, Durant with the bucket. Durant. Tough hoop from Kevin Durant. KD makes those look way easier than they actually are. Thompson outside. Pass to Green. Now here's Curry. Thompson outside. Six on the shot clock. Here's Wiggins. Outside Curry. Takes a three. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Simply the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Every time he makes.
makes another three-pointer, he's adding to the record. Now here's Durant. He's coming off a 10-point game against Cleveland. And defensively, he's been all over the place, yeah, wreaking man. havoc and pouncing on a number of steals. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Curry, that's good. Making use of the in-between area. Curry's ability to break defenses down opens up these shots. And after winning MVP honors in 2015, Steph Curry was even better in 2016, taking home another MVP award going back-to-back. -back. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Phoenix. And that 2016 MVP year for Curry, Grant, one of the best regular seasons ever. Oh, so true, B.A. Think about this. The Warriors winning an NBA record 73 games. Steph shattering the three-pointers made record over 400 for the season. Also leading the league in steals. Steph in 15-16, something else, guys. Now here's Booker. Coming off a 34-point game against Cleveland. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Curry passes to Wiggins. Here's Green. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. Jacks up a three. Offensive rebound. And it's hammered home by Green. This is the energy that Green provides. Just flat out refuses to give up on any play. Durant with it. Green covering. Booker, the pass to Nurkic. It's rebounded by Golden State. That is not a bad decision to pull from there. It was just a little bit off with the execution. Poke loose. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. Now we get a chance to check some stats for him. Thompson against Booker. Pass to Beal. A step back shot. Hauled in by Curry. Golden State is gone one of four from deep. Thompson with it. Left side green. To the paint. Here's Curry. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Curry's got his third basket of the night. The Suns leading. Pass to Okogi. Oh, there's the alley! We know Beal can do this all night long. I mean, he's got an exceptional talent for finding points. Curry passes to Wiggins. Now Green. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Wiggins outside. Just five on the clock. Golden State with a rebound. Count that one. Staying with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. The Suns have got six of ten attempts to fall. Booker, the pass to Beal. It's Booker on the wing. Defended by Thompson. The offensive rebound. Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. And on the glass, Nurkic makes it look easy. Using his reach to snatch the ball and get a shot of his own. Pass to Wiggins. No one near him. Green finds Thompson. And that comes off the assist by Green. Green's got his third assist of the night. And six of their last ten points have come on second-chance opportunities. Now here's Beal. 
He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Cleveland. And he made a living at the line as well. Got there over and over and did some damage. Here's Booker. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And a little deeper into the season now, the depth of some teams already being tested, Richard. Yeah, there's a lot of injuries popping up right now. It's tough to establish a rhythm when the guys are being shuffled in and out of the lineup. And truly, to power through, you just need strong leadership. First free throw is good. One of the best scorers in the game. Booker is a volume shooter who also plays with a ton of confidence. Good on both. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Let's it go from deep. Phoenix grabs the miss. Not played in their previous game on their schedule, losing to the Cavs. Defensively, they weren't up to the task. Didn't play as a cohesive unit, and it really hurt them. Boy, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. Yeah, it was rough. So it's the Warriors now. The Suns getting their last shot to go. In transition, here come the Suns. Pass to Beal. Down low. Here's Nurkic. Outside for Booker. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. And it's an eight-point Phoenix lead. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Launches it. Here's Green. Unable to get that one. Nice D from Durant. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Booker. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And Booker is so active on offense, which really forces the D to act with aggression at times. Devin Booker taking two shots. Free throw good from Booker. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Ball comes in for Clay Thompson. No good on the second free throw. The Warriors trailing. And here's Curry for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Curry's got ten points in the game. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Beal against Paul. And stolen by Green. Here's Paul. Really played well against Orlando in his last game. He's going for the oop here. I've seen CP do this a million times. No one is better at running the pick and roll. And here's Booker. Give him eight That's points great. now. And they call an illegal screen here. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Phoenix making some changes. Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic, and it's Bull in for a Kogi. Let's it go. Curry, no good. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's, it's been a while. Slick feed by Beal, taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. Now here's Curry, and in that win against the Magic, he's another guy who really played well. 
Pass to Paul. The three is up. Hits a three-pointer. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Phoenix has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Beal outside. Now Durant. Outside Booker. From the wing. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Booker's got 12 points in the game. Come on, guys. Check out the tenacity. There's no back down in this fellow whatsoever. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. And we got some point guards here who have been on fire over the past month. Fifth, Stephen Curry. It's really simple. As a point guard, it's your job to create good shots for others. These guys also are great at creating shots for themselves. Yeah, and when you can shoot it like he can, why not? Just the threat of their shooting makes them more effective at this point. Green, the pass to Curry. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. He's got 12. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Here's Eubanks. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Hooker, good. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Now the Warriors with it. They trail by six. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. And no Jackson team is going Higgins. to shoot 50% every Third night, five. but this team has Third, the right approach. Five. When the shots are falling, they can light it up. Phoenix has gone two for four from range to start things off. Here's Beal. Hauled in by Paul. That's how you want to see them crash the glass. They've been out-hustled so far. Second shot opportunity. That one no good. And Phoenix the other way now. And to put things simply, this has not been his goal. Driving inside. And that one's good. Bold. If the defender is giving him that much space, the points are inevitable. Pass to Green. Out left to the wing. Let's it go from 14. They retain possession. Outside Curry. Another shot. And he connects with a jumper. Curry's got 14 points. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. And here's Durant. Here's Eubanks. To the inside. And that one's good. Oh. And the Suns lead by eight. Great decision making from Booker. Realizing one of his guys is open and whips the pass to him. Pass to Curry. Fires the three. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. He's seven out of nine from the field to start off. Great output. Two second difference between shot and game clock. To the middle. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Now just a three-point Phoenix lead. What focus from Curry on offense so far, doing everything he can to provide a lift for his squad. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Kuminga. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Beal. It's good! It's good at the buzzer! Wow! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. He didn't even look worried about the time. Devin Booker. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Suns. He was dominant this quarter, scoring in punches. We'll be right back.
If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And take a look at the Suns' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. On the court right now, second quarter for the Suns. Kevin Durant is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's Okogie in at the three. What boys from Thompson. Not allowing for any distractions from his shot. Ball against Beal. Pass to Booker. Back to Okogie. Oh, from deep. They grab their own miss. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Suns lead by five. Woo, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Curry against Booker. The three from Thompson. The Suns clear it. Durant's got four rebounds now. Outside Booker. Here's Okogi. Green covering. It's Beal on the wing. Hits the trifecta. And now it's an eight-point Suns lead. A volume three-point shooter. Beal knows he has the green light to shoot threes whenever he wants. Pass to Green. Now here's Curry. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got his fifth assist in this one. Phoenix has gone three of six from deep so far. Here's Okogi. Beal with it. Nine points in the game. Here's Okogi. Six to shoot. The Suns need to get off a shot. A nice shot by Booker. He has no deficiencies. He has no flaws in his offensive game. Booker, he's capable of dropping 30 on any given night against any given player. The 15-footer. That's good from Paul. On the assist by Thompson. Paul's got five. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Now here's Nurkic. Defense right on him. Knocked loose. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Paul. Thompson with it. Back to Paul. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Yusuf Nurkic picks one up. That's a tough take by Paul inside. He is absolutely fearless, and that helps him get a trip to the strike. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Well, Grant, every team is looking for that perfect five on the floor, that magical lineup. In your mind, is that synonymous with small ball? I think it is, B.A. I mean, having players that can play small, can switch on defense, obviously play multiple positions on the offensive end, it's just a combination when executed properly could be a nightmare for the opponent. It's impressive what an enduring talent Chris Paul has been. A lot has changed around the league, but CP3 is still doing his thing and leading his guys to success. Back to Okogi. From downtown, gets the three ball to go. Okogi's got his third bucket of the night. Now shooting the three ball at almost 60%. They've been blazing this second quarter. Outside Paul. Green for three. It's not going to go for him. Now the Suns take it the other way. With a step back. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. Pass to Thompson. Deal against Paul. Shot is up. Count it. One for one to start the game. He creates shots as easily as Paul does for his teammates. He is just a great setup guy. 
Here's Okogi. Outside Booker. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Thompson finds Paul. He gets it in there. Now just a five-point Suns lead. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. Back to Beal. Shoots over Paul. Beal shot is off. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And that's good. Chris Paul for three. Paul's got nine points now in the quarter. What I like about Paul is he picks smart shots to take, especially when they're behind the arc. Paul with a steal. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Golden State has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Pass to Green. Thompson outside. Over Beal. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The crafty Paul is hard to cover. He takes pleasure in toying with the defenders and drawing fouls. Chris Paul at the line for two. Shooting two. The first one falls. And here in the second quarter, he's starting to work himself to the free throw line. That's a good move. That one drops. He ties it up. Phoenix has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Timeout, Phoenix timeout. calls timeout. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Here's Okogi, defended by Thompson. Nice shot by Durant. Hard to stop Durant when he's set up like this. He's so well positioned to score. Paul against Beal. Paul passes to Thompson. Back to Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over Beal. Paul with the bucket. Paul's got 16 points now. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Paul against Beal. Can't hit from in close. The Warriors have gotten seven of their first nine shots to drop during the second. And Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans, but they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. Fires for three. Another three for Phoenix. Down in the corner, Beal shoots with confidence. Just one more area he can score from consistently. Inside. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. At the line for the Warriors. Number two. Two shots. Shooting two. And he drops the first. And so he makes both from the line. Phoenix has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Pass to Okogi. Back to Beal. Now Nurkic. Whoa. 
And from the field after that one, three for four now. Yeah, in the paint, Nurkic can be a monster. He's got all the physical gifts he needs to dominate. Now here's Thompson. Defended by Nurkic. Top of the key. And that one good. Paul's got 18 points in the game. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys build contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Nurkic passes to Booker. Book loose. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Here's Green. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Kevin Durant. I like when Green looks to score. He's good at putting defenses at in a bind. The Dubs, Draymond Green taking two shots. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Bowl, he's checked in for the Suns. That one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. For Phoenix, they've gotten 8 of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. Tries it from 19. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got three assists tonight. Golden State has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Nice game. Great performance by Devin Booker. Okay, I'm going to take you guys inside the huddle, all right? The message from Coach is simple. Stop him. Out to the right wing. Right side, Paul. Off target from outside. Phoenix has gone 5 of 8 from outside the three-point line in this one. Here's Bowl. The shot from the low post is good. And it's a three-point Phoenix lead. Once he saw the smaller defender guarding him, he took it right to the rack. Thompson finds Paul. Now here's Green. The D's right on him. And a missed layup. Phoenix has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Here's Durant. Rebounded by Green. Green's got six rebounds in the game. Thompson outside. Ball against Beal. Green in the post. Out to Thompson. Shot clock at three. Pulls it in from the elbow. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Paul's got 20 points. And after struggling out the gate, he's looked more confident. And it's why his teammates have continued to feed him. Durant, the pass to Beal. To the inside, Booker. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got his fourth assist with that last one. Paul against Beal. Shoots from 12. Paul can't get it to go. The Suns leading. Here's Durant. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from the inside. Thompson outside. From deep. 
Golden State with a rebound. Can't connect from short range. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. To the paint. And there's Booker. That one's good. On the assist by Beal. Beal's got five assists in the game. Thompson outside. Back to Paul. We've got 113 left to play in the first half. The three is up. It's hauled in by the Suns. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. Outside Booker. Back to Beal. Shoots over Thompson. Offensive board. Great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Shot to stop the run. Golden State with a rebound. Goes back up. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. The game of three, it's about testing the defense, finding their weak spots. Bring on Green at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. They throw good. Green. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Curry, he's checked in for Paul. Gordon, he's checked in for the Suns. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Phoenix has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line in this one. Here's Beal. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Pass to Curry. He can't hit that time. Beal with some nice D. Booker fires from way outside. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's Phoenix finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. And it's mostly... Here is Coach Steve. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. Devin Booker putting in some incredible work. He had 23 points, three rebounds, and two assists. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Suns. They're running some great offense right now, working the ball in the good spots, taking what the defense gives them, not forcing up shots. We'll see if they can maintain that discipline in the second half. And over to Kenny, what did you think about Golden State? Ice cold, frigid from beyond the arc. The question is now, can they shake it off and get back in the groove? Another option is compensate by going to the rim. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from Devin Booker. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. The Warriors trailing. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. So that's the group out there for Golden State. 
Here's Thompson. That one's wide left. And the Sun's shooting very well. 66% for the game and looking really strong. Durant, the pass to Beal. Pass to Okogi. Hey, expanding his range. Called in by Curry. And for the Warriors, they're shooting at 45% on the game so far. Here's Thompson. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Thompson's got six. Want to see a perfect jumper? Just watch Clay Thompson. And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into this second half. Outside Durant. From deep. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. Three points. The confidence that Durant has in his three-point shot is something special. He doesn't doubt his selections at all. Back to Curry. Down low. And the slam dunk by Thompson. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. Yeah, just couldn't make the connection. But you appreciate their attempt at moving the ball. The Warriors have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Durant against Green. Pass to Wiggins. And that comes off the assist by Green. Green's got assist number seven tonight. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Here's Okogi. Give him eight. To the middle. Shot clock at six. Shot by Nurkic. No good. It's stolen by Nurkic. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. The muscle coming into play. I like how Nurkic takes on these challenges and finds ways to deliver. One shot. One shot. The free throw is off from Nurkic. Yeah, someone who has battled injuries. Great to see Yusuf Nurkic out there tonight. Curry finds Thompson. Back to Curry. Puts up a three. And that one goes. Now 10 for 13 on the night. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Pass to Booker. Here's Beal. And it's Phoenix with another. I mean, capable of playing either guard position, Beal is especially difficult to contain in pick and rolls. To the right side. Another three for Golden State. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the arc, and he capitalizes. Pass to Durant. Let's the three fly. Here's Booker. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Outstanding initiative from Booker. Terrific at earning these calls inside. Devin Booker, two shots. Shoot two. That free throw good from Booker. Yeah. 
Both free throws good from Booker. Golden State has gone two for two from deep here on the third. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. Pulls up. Phoenix grabs the miss. Nurkic has got a rebound number five here tonight. Beal the pass to Booker. Nice D from Thompson. The Warriors have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Who poked away. Wiggins outside. Out to Thompson from outside the arc. Another score. His fifth make out of ten tries. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Timeout call. The Suns. in for the Warriors. And the Suns also making a change. Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic. Here's Beal. Count the basket and the foul! It's on Stephen Curry. And he's just using every bit of his strong frame to battle the defense. Beal won't take no for an answer. Bradley uh Beal. -uh. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Suns. State has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Kuminga, the pass to Wiggins. Now here's Curry, hounded by Beal. Left side, Kuminga. Just five to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Wiggins, no good. Phoenix has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. They get the rebound. Durant missed inside. The Warriors have gone six for nine in the half. Here's Thompson. Second chance shot. And he lays it in. He has seven. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Pass to Durant. Fires the three. And again, it's the Suns missing. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks from range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Back to Thompson. Now here's Wiggins. Over Beal. And Booker pulls it down. Booker's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Beal. Doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Wiggins. The Warriors have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Thompson, that's good. Thompson's got nine points here in the second half. Well, after an uneven first half, he's managed to right the ship and get things going. And Durant gets it to go. And the Suns lead by three. Yeah, even though he's slender, Durant is good at keeping his balance through contact. The man is stronger than he looks. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. And that is an absolute heartbreaker of a turnover. In a close game like this, that might be enough to impact how it ends. And the Warriors making a change here. Paul's checked in. O'Neal, he's checked in for Phoenix. Gordon comes in for Devin Booker. Pass to Gordon. Nice D from Thompson. The Warriors have gone 8 of 13 in the second half. And here's Wiggins. Here's Thompson. Defended by Gordon. Thompson outside. 
Wiggins left side shot from 16 Phoenix grabs the miss Durant's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one pass to O'Neal Gordon with it Beal outside Beal with the dunk. Jackson One Davis. of the most desired Second trade targets Davis. in the league. Seemingly every year, Beal is just a baller. So both teams making some changes here. Bradley Beal shooting one. Beal, no good on that one. Their lead could be even bigger right now, but their efficiency from the line has dropped off a little. Wiggins against Beal. Out to the right wing. Outside Paul. Shot clock at five. Oh, that's his eighth make of the game. He's only missed four so far. Laser focus by CP3. Look, he takes the contact timeout, timeout. and still delivers the mail. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. O'Neal misses. The Warriors trailing. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. He's got seven. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. And as tired as they might be after fighting to tie it up, they have all the momentum now to finish this comeback. And again, it's the Suns missing. Hey, look, I'm not going to lie here. That's a shot that he needs to be making. There are no excuses. Gordon outside. For three. The Warriors pull it in. Now here's Paul. 22 points for him. For the lead. Kept alive. Kuminga. Champs there to take the lead, but a miss. Phoenix has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Pass to Beal. Here's O'Neal. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. Two it's Wiggins on the wing. Clock at six. Sinks the tray. Wiggins got five now. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Pass to O'Neal. Shoots over Wiggins. Gets it to fall from the right block. The assist. And the Suns Brian lead by Beal. one. Coach is loving the ball movement. Wiggins outside. Beal against Paul. Kuminga's shot is off. Phoenix has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. Here's Bowl. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. The line for the Suns. Bowl, bowl. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And 
knocks down the first one. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 119 left in the third quarter. Pass to Wiggins. The three. Another three for Golden State. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Phoenix foul. Bradley Beal. Second personal foul. 103 left in the third. To the right side. Here's Paul. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on Bradley Beal. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Chris Paul. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. hits them both here's Beal he's got 19 52 seconds left in the third quarter Gordon outside six on the shot clock Looney grabs a miss you got to love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Outside Paul. The Suns clear it. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, it's all about clock management with these situations. Let's see how it plays out. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Outside Paul. Shoots over Beal. On the mark with the 15-footer. Paul's got six in the quarter. See, it's the accuracy of Paul's shooting that makes the mid He can take that shot all night. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. The Warriors on top. They lead by two. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. There wasn't a better pass in the game, almost like he had a sixth sense. It's the five. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On the floor for Phoenix. Kevin Durant is out there with Josh Okogie. Then it's Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's Bradley Beal, and it's Booker in at the shooting guard position. Here's Okogi, defended by Thompson. Let's it go from 14. Durant's shot is off. The Warriors leading. Stolen by Booker. Tries it from 16. Durant, no good. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Thompson against Durant. Thompson passes to Looney. Six to shoot. It doesn't go for him. The Suns go the other way with it. Up top Durant. Defended by Thompson. Wiggins with a steal. Curry against Beal. Curry no good. Phoenix has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. To the inside. And Nurkic throws it down. Oh, too easy for Nurkic. A big man who goes up strong. You have to meet him at the rim and counter his aggression. 
Booker defending. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That was good. And the Warriors lead by two. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Beautiful timing from KD. He just knows when to get up there for the alley-oop. Back to Curry. And Bradley Beal is going to pick up the foul. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Now at four fouls in the game, he'll start to have to be a little bit more careful with his defense the rest of the way. And the Warriors making a change here. Green is checked in. Curry against Beal. Now here's Curry. Defense is right there. Beal with some nice D. For Phoenix, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wiggins. And the Warriors making a switch here. Now into the lineup for your Warriors, Jackson Davis. Here's Beal. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. The Warriors have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Here's Curry. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Curry's got 26 points. How do you stop Curry? Well, in a short answer, you can't. It's Booker on the wing, defended by Thompson. Booker no good. The Warriors shooting the ball at 48% so far. Wiggins from long range. Golden State with a rebound. With that offensive board, they're likely to have the last possession here. Where's the rim protection? That's just too easy for him. Deal against Curry. Booker for three. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Green. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Warriors. Third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Dubs. Dream on Green. One shot. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. The Warriors have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Thompson, no good. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Okogi. The kick to Durant to win the run. Man, the Suns miss again. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Give him that one. Now shooting 5 for 11 from the floor. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Curry against Beal. Foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. I like when Beal looks to score inside because it forces the D to get physical with him. Bradley Beal taking two shots. Shooting two. That one misses. They're missing a chance to trim the lead by leaving points at the line.
And the second free throw is good. Didn't get to the line in the first half, but since the break, he's been in an attack mode. Great adjustment. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. And the shot's good. Curry's got 28 points for the game. What focus from Curry, embracing the physicality and figuring out how to still capitalize through it. Booker for three. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. Beal's got seven assists in the game. Curry passes to Thompson. Back to Curry. It's Wiggins on the wing. Out to the wing. Four on the clock. They get it back. Shoots over Booker. Tries again. They shoot again. Wiggins, no good. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. And then Beal with the dunk. The consistency of Beal's scoring has been terrific. And of course, his teammates keep working hard to facilitate to him. Curry passes to Wiggins. Sinks the 15-footer. That gives him a double-double in this one. And after being held scoreless in the first half, he's starting to turn it on. Pass to Booker. Fires from deep. And the Suns get another three. three point That's the kind of shot this offensive scheme is meant to produce. Thompson outside. Wiggins for three. Knocks down the triple. Wiggins got 13 points here in the second half alone. All of a sudden, he's balling. Halftime adjustments successful so far. Back to Beal. Pass to Durant. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by Golden State. They've led by as much as 10. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. And that one's good. Green. Green. Yeah, Green knows he has Green. to act fast, so he wastes no time finding the shot. Outside Booker. Pass to Durant. Beal outside. Three-pointer, no good. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Now Nurkic. He's covered by Curry. The jump hook. Second chance effort. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. Good. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Second personal foul. Oh, so capable of overwhelming you. Nurkic is terrific at maintaining his focus and balance on these tough finishes. Yusuf Nurkic, one shot. One shot. Good from Nurkic. Here's Curry. He's nearing a 30-point game here. Yeah, B.A., he's been decisive and aggressive. Thompson passes to Curry. No good from outside. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. To the paint. Durant, no good. He's trying to find his shot. But at some point, you have to start making these. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Something he's worked on over the years. Green is an elite passer. Phoenix calls timeout. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. He'll just keep hurting them from the three-point land if they let him. Here's a chance for Coach to change that. Nation, time to make some noise and work them out of your Warriors 16.
in our New Balance Player of the Game, Chris Paul. And I'll tell you what, this was one easy pick for sure. From the start, he looked in total control for the entire game. It's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. During that break, Coach Frank Vogel had some advice for his team. He likes the way they're pounding the ball inside. He said, keep working for high percentage looks. The more efficient that we can be down the stretch, the better chance we have of winning this game. Guys? Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Ali. Stolen by Thompson. In transition, here come the Warriors. Shoots over Booker and misses it off the right side of the rim. Phoenix has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Here's Okogi, hounded by Wiggins. Phoenix no good that time either. Since hitting two triples in the first half, he's been non-existent from out there. The three ball. And that comes off the assist by Green. Wiggins has got 16 in the second half. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. And for the Warriors, they're shooting an even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Back to Curry. Over Nurkic. Curry, no good. Phoenix is shooting about 32% during this fourth. Here's Beal. And off the left side of the rim and swirls in for him. Beal's got five points now this quarter. Give some love to KD there, making the unselfish play. Inside, it's stolen by Nurkic. Three on three. Here's Okogi. He's covered by Curry. Here's Beal. Oh, nice D from Curry. The Warriors leading. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. Wiggins passes to Curry. And he makes it on the layup. Curry's got 30. Slick move by Curry with the ball, getting the defenders off balance so he can find a shot. And it's slammed in by Durant. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Curry passes to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Beal. Curry, no good. A minute 20 left to play in the fourth. Out of bounds. It'll be Warriors ball. Golden State has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Green. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. How physical Green is willing to get, enduring the foul and finding the bottom of the bucket. At the line for the Dubs, bring on Green. Shooting one. throw no good for green well the sun's shooting 52 percent from the floor so far here's beal and down it goes two points beal's got 14 points here in the second half check out beal with the floater beating the coverage with a graceful shot wiggins outside pass to thompson the three okogi pulls down the board down low. Here's Booker. He can't get it to go. And Golden State will go the other way with it. 
Here's Thompson. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Defensive foul. And the Suns going with a whole new group out there. Fifth personal foul. Team's fourth. At the line for the Warriors. Play Thompson. At the line for one. and his free throw put a bow on this one. Nice way to finish the game up. Pass to Eubanks. Over Looney. The shot by Eubanks, no good. So it's the Warriors now. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Now Peyton. Here's Moody. on the clock and that one's good and guys that's gotta be the dagger this is how you finish a game and it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game saving their best basket for the end always smart and so it's the Warriors taking care of business in this one a competitive game you have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge yeah they really fed off the energy we agree As the season rolls on, Brent, how do squads manage to preserve momentum and energy and, and keep themselves fired up? Yeah, you got to challenge yourself, Kevin, to try to continue to be consistently good. And I think that's what you're talking about here is a standard with which you play is going to help you continue to get wins because you expect that from one another. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Duran is up there with Durkic. And there's Bradley Beal. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's a Kogi in the small forward position. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul. Booker against Thompson. The pass to Green. Six to shoot. Wiggins inside the line. Good as Green picking up the assist. Wiggins getting the space and then does not hesitate before firing that one. Beal dishes to Durant. Pass to Okogi. To the middle. Here's Beal. Plays it up and banks it in. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Over Beal. A shot by Curry. No good. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Here's a Kobe covered by Wiggins. Pass to Booker. This one for three. Warriors with the rebound. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, in that game, I, I thought they took advantage of some sloppy play, but give them credit. They turned mistakes into points. Yeah, the last game, it felt like they were just feeding off of what they were doing defensively, forcing a lot of those turnovers, and that helps build your defensive confidence. The Warriors have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Shoots from 14. That one goes. Counted. Now, Draymond Green patient enough to know when his teammates are running around, at some point one's going to break open, then he finds them. And there's a lot you can say about Golden State's offensive abilities, but their defense is also razor sharp. They, they know how to control the flow of a game. Now, there's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Back to Curry. In the corner, it's Wiggins. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And some might go as far, Greg, is saying Golden State's defense is underrated. It is kind of overlooked at times. And, and their shooting is so exceptional. It hides everything else. Like how they can dominate the glass defensively.
and that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. And Andrew Wiggins came into this league as such a special talent. It's so great to see all of that blossoming this far into his career. No good on the second free throw. The Suns have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Booker the pass to Akogi. Kicks it to be it. Suns moving the ball around. Now here's Nurkic. Defense is right there. Pulls up on the wing. Beal can't get it to go. Thompson outside. Wiggins outside. Floats it up for Wiggins. Phoenix grabs the miss. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. Well, you, you never want to concede a game before you play it. That said, though, they were just overmatched. Tough thing about that one is they also were playing uh, a poor opponent, so no fire in that game. And that sticks with you a little bit. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Frank Vogel had a few minutes to share with me. He told me they have to lean on their post game tonight. He wants them to get the ball into the block each time down the floor and pound those guys inside. Sounds like this could be a real physical battle, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. Warriors on D. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. Well, I like when Devin Booker's decisive about forcing the action. It's clear the defense is respecting his ability to score the ball. The Suns shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. First free throw is good. And Booker just one of these guys who's calculating on the offensive end. He's trying to figure out what defenses are doing. He's always working hard to find shots and he's going to influence the game with the way he can produce. That one falls so he hits both of them. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Curry passes to Wiggins. Pass to Thompson. Now here's Curry from downtown. Phoenix grabs the miss. Durant's got four rebounds now tonight. And Booker kicks to Beal. Back to Booker. Outside Durant. Up and in, off to an efficient start, two for three from the field. Not fair of a coach to send out one defender against Kevin Durant, skilled at fighting through whatever challenges the D wants to throw at him. Now here's Wiggins. Count it. And it's seven points for Andrew Wiggins. Now here's Durant. He's coming off a 10-point game against Cleveland. And equally spent as much energy on his D. I mean, four steals kind of tell the story. That one goes in. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Back to Curry. Up and in on the way. All those things that Steph does before the game, and you think there's no way he's pulling those off in the game. Guess what? He's pulling them off in the game. Here's a Kogi. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Feeds to Nurkic. No good that time. The Warriors go the other way. The Suns beat them last time. These two teams met in Phoenix. Yeah, and what a gut wrencher it was for them last time they met. Ended up on the losing side in that one. Now Beal following the three-point attempt by Andrew Wiggins. Beal the pass to Nurkic. Now, Booker, he's coming off a 34-point game against Cleveland. Goes up from the top of the key and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Warriors trailed by five. Higgins outside. Outside Curry. 
Green up on top, defended by Durant. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. How about Draymond rising up into the contact? He's a good offensive player who finds his way this time to get to the free throw line. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. First free throw is good. And the fire that Draymond Green plays with, I think, is the most admirable quality. Knows how to get himself and his teammates going throughout the course of a long, grinding 82-game season. So one for two that time at the strike. And KD's got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. Four-point game. Great tee that time from Green. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Good. Nice job down low. Very easy to stop Draymond Green in that situation. Big and strong and uses his size well. Man, first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly and timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team not just the guys playing but the entire team Chris ball he's checked in for the Warriors and now quick review at the numbers for green he's averaging six points a game nine assists and eight rebounds they're loving how he's running the show here. His sensational passing really breathing life into their offense. Something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders when he is in the game. A great conduit for them offensively. He knows where everyone is at all times. The Suns have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Josh Okogie taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Warriors trailed by four. Floats it up for Wiggins, and it's Wiggins with the jam. He makes that look so easy. Andrew Wiggins up and down on the alley-oop. The pass to Booker. Let's it go from 11. Thompson with the rebound. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. The shot's good from Paul. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Now here's Beal. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Cleveland. Felt like he had a sense in that game that the defense was being over-aggressive, and he tried to take advantage of that. He continually frustrated them throughout the night and got to the free throw line. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Green, guarded by KD. Green against KD. Ball with the three. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists tonight. Durant kicks to Beal. Pass to Okogi. Over Wiggins. Okogi misses. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to sink. Passes to Wiggins. Back to Paul. Shot clock at six. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. Bradley Beal picks one up. And Chris Paul, when he gets into those tight spots, he becomes pretty smart in it. The Warriors shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Chris Paul as a veteran leader just sets a high standard for the team that he's playing on. And it's really elevated the other guys. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic. And it's Bull in for Josh Akogi. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Phoenix has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. And Booker kicks to Beal. And taken away by Paul. Takes it inside. And the layup's good off the glass. Paul's got eight. Just got that ball on a string and uses that change of pace so effective. Chris Paul getting wherever he wants to go now. Now here's Durant. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. And Beal showing his hops that time off the alley. Thompson outside. Back to Paul. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the Suns. Outside Beal. Let's go. Again, Phoenix. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Durant against Wiggins. Some nice passing by Golden State. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two Five minutes. on the clock. A baseline J. Count it. Green's got his second bucket. Well, most of the time we see Draymond Green finishing at the basket or from out beyond the arc. But right there, a little bit of the mid-range. The Suns trailer. And here's Booker. He's got nine. Over Thompson. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. The pass to Paul. Inside. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. KD's got seven rebounds in the game. No good from Booker. Warrior shooting has been tremendous early. Their offense looking primed and ready for this match. Green passes to Paul. From the strike, it's deflected. Booker dishes to Beal. Booker against Thompson. 54 seconds left in the first. Ball's knocked loose. Now here's Wiggins. T right on him. And Wiggins throws it down hard. And how about the acrobatics from Andrew Wiggins? Way up that time. Beal the pass to Eubanks. Pass to Beal. He kicks it to Booker. Hole oh, with it. He's against Green. Pocket six. Beal with it. Chris Paul covering. He gets that one. Bradley Beal. Beal's got eight. And off to a strong start offensively. He's got a nice touch. Unloads from 13. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. And the Warriors lead by three. Beal against Green. Great tee that time from Green. And Thompson puts up a deep three. And so it's Andrew Wiggins making highlights for the Golden State Warriors. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll get right back. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. Warriors leading by three on the court for the Suns. They've got Bradley Beal. 
Duran is out there with Nurkic. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's a Kogi in at the three. Kaminga, no good. Al Phoenix shooting for the game at 42%. Beal deciding where to go with it. Here's KD. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. KD's got his third bucket of the night. Warriors shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. Back to Paul. Takes the 13-footer, and it's Phoenix with the rebound. With nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area, that's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Here's a Kogi. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. Brent, did you have any superstitions when you played in the NBA? Not, not so much, Kevin. I really had more routine. And if I got off my routine, I might be uh, a little bit, you know, nervous. But nothing superstitious and nothing that I can recall. Six to shoot. Here's Nurkic. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Nurkic has got his second bucket of the game to go. They are just killing them on the interior. Left side Curry. Three-pointer. Phoenix grabs the miss. Durant's got 11 rebounds in the game. Over Kaminga. No good there. And Golden State will go the other way with it. On the wing, Wiggins. Puts up a three. And again, no good by Golden State. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. A Kogi, the best to be. Here's a Kogi. Kicks it to Nurkic. Suns moving the ball around. Here's Beal. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Curry against Booker. There's Kaminga. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Paul against Beal. On loads. The shot, no good. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Drains it from beyond the arm. This is what you think of first with Curry. His three-point shooting ability is just otherworldly. to Beal. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And Booker kicks to Beal. Over Paul. It falls through, making him six for 11 in the game. This is what Beal is out there to do, just pour in points. And the Warriors timeout, timeout. decide to take their first time out here. Star voting. And a lot of fans and players interested to see how this thing all turns out. Look at Curry. He's received the fourth most votes in the West. If the All-Star game were today, he'd be starting. And that's the way it should be. As dynamic as he's been this season, it, it wouldn't be right if he wasn't a part of that starting lineup. And it seems like the anticipation just continues to build each year around this time of the season. Going to be a fantastic weekend. And it's Wiggins missing. And so Nurkic will bring it up for the Suns. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Here's Booker. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The defense tends to overcommit just because Booker's such a great offensive threat. That time he used it to his advantage. 
I hey guys, to what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Phoenix? I, I like how they've worked the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. When you make the most of second chance opportunities, and you're in there and active, boy, that can really put a lot of pressure on the defense. Kevon Looney is checked in for Wiggins. And he's good on the second. Warriors trail by three. Paul kicks to Curry. Shoots the three. Knocks down the three ball. Curry's got eight. Yeah, he couldn't connect on anything from outside in the first quarter. But now he's hit two threes in the second quarter. And he looks much better. A Kogi. He feeds it to Nurkic and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Curry finds Paul. And that's a foul called on Bradley Beal. That'll be his second foul of the game. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. And, guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Paul looking around. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Kevin Durant. CP3 so good at initiating contact and just irritating the defense. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And to this point on the season, guys, 80% from the line. He's done a really good job. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. And the second free throw, good. For Phoenix, they've gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Durant, and then Durant with the jam. And Beal continues to be that guy where he opened your eyes with his playmate. Pass to Kaminga. It's Curry outside. Traps in the tray. Curry's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. And he's now made three pointers here in the second starting to get it going Suns moving the ball around Beal against Paul passes it to a Kogi shoots over Curry two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul even from over here you can see that one pretty clearly Phoenix shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight Kogi taking two shots Free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. Here's Curry. 32 points for him last game against Orlando. Yeah, but there's always this point you got to look at 
Where did he also impact the game? It was on the rebounding two. end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. This tug of war game continues. And guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. Back to Beal from deep. Here's Nurkic. Got a hand on it. Now here's Kaminga. Defended by Durant. And that'll be Fun two free foul. throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Third personal foul. Third team foul. And let's take a moment here to get your That's guys' take on dogs. scoring so far Jonathan. for the Warriors. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep. Putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Well, whether the defense is inviting these shots or not, they've been great in the mid-range. And so producing from there, two. that bodes well. That free throw good from Kaminga. And he makes both free throws. Suns trail by three. Outside Beal. There's the pass to Okogi. Just five to shoot. Dishes it to Nurkic. Doesn't go for him. Warriors leading by three. Curry with it. Guarded now by Durant. Beal pulls it in. For Phoenix, they've gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. From 11 feet away, that one off the back iron and out. Golden State's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. And Kaminga gets it to go. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for Phoenix. Pass to Booker. Back to Beal. Releases. And the Suns miss again. The Warriors shooting 38% in the second quarter. Offensively, they look a little bit confused. And it's good. Two points. And it's a seven-point Warrior lead. Yeah, Looney opens up the offense here. You're just getting some bonus points from him. And that's helping out when he knocks down Jay. Beal finds Booker. Here's a Kogi. Pass to Nurkic. Curry with it. Passes to Looney. Outside Curry. He's covered by Beal. A three. Curry can't get it to go. Suns trail by seven. A Kogi, the pass to Beal. And another field goal in this total. To make it seven for 14, shooting 50%. Beal is a star and a top shelf scorer, so that jumper is as pure as it gets. Timeout called the Warriors. Make the noise and welcome out to your Warriors. Changes here for the Warriors. Green comes in for Looney. Thompson in for Kaminga. And then for Phoenix, Bowl. He's checked in for Durant. O'Neal comes in for Josh Okoge. And Gordon subbed in for Booker. Outside Curry. Off target from outside. The Suns have gone 7 of 16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. Thompson against Beal. And there's the pass to Bull. Shoots over Curry. Bull can't hit. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Down low, Nurkic with the steal. Beal the pass to Gordon. Pass 
to Bull. Over Curry. Bull can't hit. Warriors leading by five. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Guarded by O'Neal. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. The Warriors have hit six free throws in ten attempts. Two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. Eubanks, he's checked in for the Suns. So he gets them both. 158 left to play in the first half. Outside Gordon. There's the triple. And O'Neal is good for three. O'Neal's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Pass to Thompson. Here's Curry with the three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. Anything the opponent does, trust me, Steph can do it better. He's got to be the best shooter that we've ever seen in the game. Heel up top, guarded by Kerr. Steps back and shoots. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Beal's got eight points here in this quarter. Just a great hustle play there. Energy and passion. This is what you play the game for. 54 seconds left here in the second. Thompson from long range. And another three for Golden State. I just love the flow and the mechanics of what Clay does so efficiently with that J. O'Neal kicks to Gordon. Curry against Beal. It's tipped. Curry deciding where to go with it. For the three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Gordon, the pass to Bull. It's Beal on the wing. And there's the feed to Gordon. There's O'Neal with the three. And so it's the Golden State Warriors holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll take a quick break and then back. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors you get And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. The NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They stayed within arm's reach in that opening period. Five points, their largest deficit. They found a nice groove in the second quarter, running out to an eight-point lead. Big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? Well, they've shown a lot of discipline in the offensive end. It's not about getting the quick shots, it's about getting the quick shots. If you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. Kenny, your take on Phoenix. They couldn't get anything from the on -air. Obviously, plenty of bad shots. But they couldn't even hit wide open. They need to regroup, I'm telling you, regroup with some kind of rhythm and get off pace. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Fans, give it up for your Warriors. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Here's Curry. 
They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. So with Paul on the bench. Here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Then it's Wiggins. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Here's Booker. Curry with the rebound. Curry's got four rebounds now tonight. Green dishes to Curry. Golden State moving it around. He's guarded by Norkic. And the rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got six rebounds in the game. Beal up top. Passes it to Okogi. Lays it up off the glass. Okogi's got the opening bucket to start the second half for Phoenix. Curry against Beal. Now the pass to Thompson. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Suns trail by six. KD looking around. The dish to Beal. On the wing, Booker. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on Thompson. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. At the line for the Suns, Devin Booker, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. Free throw, good Booker. Both free throws good from Booker. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. They lead by four. Phoenix grabs the miss. Norkic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And they start the second half with three straight misses. He takes it in. Here's a Kogi. Five points in the game. Just four to shoot. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throws. Excellent job by Nurkic to go right into the defense and get hit. Then he buries the shot. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. What's up? Free throw good, Nurkic. And Nurkic is focused on trying to make the job of his teammates easier. He works so hard on the glass and setting screens. Tons of dirty work that Nurkic finds himself involved in. He's guarded by Nurkic. A three-pointer, Wiggins, and basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Yes, but they won drops after the 0 of 3 start. Curry against Beal. Nurkic the best to Okogi. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Warriors leading by four. Frank, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. And Clay announcing with that his family foundation would have a 941 day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. On 
the wing, Booker. He's covered by Thompson. A nice shot by Booker. Yeah, Booker. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Beal against Curry. Beal the pass to a Kogi. Booker the bounce pass. Pass to Durant. Six on the shot clock. Back to Beal. From deep three-point range. Nurkic in the post. Yeah, when Nurkic goes across the lane, they're hard to get him out of the way, and he collects the offensive rebound. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Back to Curry. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And then we just seen them make mistakes on back-to-back -back trips. Both those turnovers could have been avoided. And the Warriors making a change here. Paul's checked in. Paul against Beal. High post, KD. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. Beal's got three assists now in this one. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Back to Paul. Shoots over Beal. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Phoenix has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. For the lead, another one falls for Phoenix. Oh, Beal, so smooth. Golden State's gone 2 of 3 when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. All finds green. Golden State moving the ball around. Tries from 10, and it's sent back by KD. Let's it go from 14. A nice shot by Booker. And now a three-point Phoenix lead. Well, Devin Booker lethal on the pull-up jump shot. Loves going to this shot when the D is not paying any attention. Timeout called the Warriors. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Beal against Paul. Outside, Green. Thompson outside. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. The second half has it going nearly as well for him. He'd only had one before the break in terms of turnovers, but that number's growing as this game progresses. Outside Beal. Pass to Okogi. On the wing, Booker. Trying to find Durant. He's got it now. Durant. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Thompson outside. Now here's Paul. He's got 11. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Eighteen feet away and he knocks it down. Wiggins has got 16 points. And this is Wiggins having one of those nights where he's earning it all. Monster game right here. Booker looking around. That one, no good. The Warriors go the other way with it. Wiggins outside. Pass to Thompson. Rejected by Booker. The pass to a Kogi. Tries a three. Amon Green with the rebound. A struggle for him tonight, but they can make this lead hold up. He can just chalk this up as one of those nights. Wiggins and a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got his third assist on the night. Pass to Katie. 
Three pointer. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Johnson's got four rebounds now tonight. For the lead. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. And the foul Warriors on Andrew foul. Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins. That'll be his second foul of the game. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Moody comes in for Close Andrew Wiggins. Phoenix also making some changes. Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic. Bowl comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Gordon in for Josh Akogi. Here's Booker. And a miss there off the inbound. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Warriors. They trail by one. And good that time. Just such a confident score, seeing Clay get into these areas on the floor and still being effective. Got to appreciate that part of his game. Paul with the steal. Thompson in the post. He's against Gordon. The shot by Thompson, no good. Suns have gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Broke loose. Gordon the pass to Beal. Booker outside. Four on the shot clock. Trying to end the drought. And they pick up two. Booker. Booker's got eight points here in this quarter. Just such a gifted scorer. I mean, Devin Booker, a guy that drops 70 once in a game. you got to be kidding me. Timeout called the Warriors. It's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. Yeah, smart move here. Talk things over. He's really eating them up, and they've tried a few different looks defensively. Nothing quite getting it done. And Phoenix making a change. O'Neal's checked in. Warriors 16. Pass to Moody. Passes it to Looney. Shot clock at five. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Here's Booker. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. And now it's a three-point Phoenix lead. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Golden State moving it around. The shot by Looney, no good. Phoenix has gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Here's Paul, and he drives in, and he banks in the lane. Paul's got 13. Chris Paul, a crafty finisher, gets inside, and despite being six feet, find a way to get it done. There's the pass to O'Neal. He dishes it to Gordon. And they recover it. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And an active rebounder, Bowl uses that physical advantage there to track down the miss. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. You love Find how the they've lived in the, the paint, lane. making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, your confidence grows, and you win that turnover battle. And like his father, Manu, Bowl's combination of size and scoring is very unique. The, the key for him is just staying healthy. To the inside. And that one's good, Eubanks. Eubanks got the lead up to five now for the Suns. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna, you're gonna let that guy shoot layups? You're asking for it. Paul passes to Moody. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got five assists in the game. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Down to five on the shot clock. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. Knocks it loose. Outside, Gordon. 
Ask Joe O'Neill. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got nine rebounds now tonight. Paul against Booker. Paul passes to Green. Pass to Moody. Just five on the clock. Here's Looney. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. The Suns leading. Now Bowl. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Yeah, Bowl with the unique combination of height and skill. That's a challenge for any defender. The Suns have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. He doesn't get the second one. Warriors trailed by three. And really the smart thing would be to hold for the last shot. Every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. Booker left side. And that will count. No good on the shot. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for Phoenix. His production has been flowing as he's tallied 20 points and looks to be planning for more. Back. Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. We get a couple stops, we get a couple runouts, we get into our flow. All right? Keep the ball moving. Keep the intensity. Steve Kerr asking his guys just to you know, keep up the pace and selfishly, basically be yourself. Stay, you guys, stay in character. Yeah, I mean, he knows what this team is capable of. Just looking for a couple of plays to really kind of kickstart that engine and, and give them that little sustainable groove. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the court now for the Suns, getting going here in the fourth. We've got Booker. Nurkic is out there with Durant. And there's Bradley Beal. And it's a Kogi in at the three. Right side, Durant. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got four assists now tonight. Thompson outside to the paint. Here's Kaminga. And it's Durant with the rebound. KD's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. No question. He got caught on that shot. Six. Two shots. Team foul. Elbow. Two. Andrew Wiggins. He's checked in for the Warriors. Josh Okogi taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Paul passes to Wiggins. Back to Paul. Durant with the steal. Score the basket. His eighth. Eight for 13 from the floor. Well, they might have made contact with Durant, but really didn't affect him at all. And it's Durant with the rebound. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. For three, Booker. A shot off that time. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. 
one made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Quick into the air. Andrew Wiggins up and throws it down. Pass to book. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Here's a Kogi. They get it back. Another shot. No good at the rim. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Paul kicks to Wiggins. Fires top of the key. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Wiggins. And now just a three-point Suns lead. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And the Suns miss again. The Warriors have gone three or five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. To tie it up. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Booker's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. A Kobe for three. Here's KD. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. Yeah, KD depositing that second chance bucket and most of that coming because of his length. Back to Paul. Kaminga kicks to Wiggins. From outside the arc, bangs home the trifecta. Wiggins has got 25 points in the game. No three-pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. Back to Beal. Left side, Durant. Six to shoot. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. 20 points for him. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Back to Paul. Defended by Booker. Knocked loose. Beal with the steal. And now the Suns, a fast break. A Kogi, the pass to Beal. Another one falls for Phoenix. He loves the fire off the catch. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Warriors. Golden State moving it around. Here's Wiggins. The shot that time, not on target. Suns leading by six. Things really clicking for him at the offensive end. They're making good decisions, not wasting these opportunities. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Here's Paul. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Beal up top, defended by Paul. Top of the key, Booker. Beal dishes to Booker. Pocket six. A Kogi for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Kaminga's got his fourth rebound in this one. Paul with the ball. Now Beal defending. Paul's shot is off. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests. And that's just enough. Here's KD. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Kaminga kicks to Wiggins. They could use a bucket. Misses off the left iron. Suns leading by eight. Beal the pass to Nurkic. Beal with it. It's rebounded by Golden State. Kaminga's got rebound number five here tonight. Driving the lane. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Phoenix has gone ice cold from three-point land. 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Kicks to Beal. 
the pass to Nurkic. And stolen by Wiggins. To the middle. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. And the Suns call time. And give it up for your Warriors U15. the New Balance player of the game, Kevin Durant. And the decision-making tonight has just been outstanding. If the shot hasn't been there for him, he's just kept the ball moving. And that patience is how he's gotten his field goal percentage to almost 60 here tonight. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Frank Vogel talk to his team during the break. He told them this is a game of runs. It's a game of momentum. We may have the lead now, but I'm telling you guys, it can evaporate in a hurry. Let's close this thing out. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. Deal against Wiggins. Down to five on the shot clock. Deal, that's for two. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Green's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And that one's good. Wiggins. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Deal the pass to Akogi. Booker up top, wide open. And it's Curry with the rebound. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. Oh, and there's the foul. It's on Josh Okogi. First team foul. That's foul number two for him. Oh, man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Wiggins surveying the floor. Four on the clock. Jacks up a three. Not going to go that time. The Suns go the other way with it. They've led by as much as ten. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. Yeah, easy call. Second team foul. Shooting for Phoenix. Devin Booker. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw. Good Booker. Both shots good from the strike. So it's the Warriors now. Six point game. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Norton. Deal against Curry. Sweet little floater. And I just love the confidence that Steph has in these kind of moments. Get the ball to him, he'll do it to you every time. 
past the Nurkic. Got a piece of it. Akogi, the pass to Nurkic. And here's Booker from the arc. The three-pointer is right on target. Booker's got seven points here in this quarter. Going to be an all-star guard like Devin Booker. Uh, you might want to start hitting your share of triples. Great D that time from Nurkic. Goes up at the stripe. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And it's a nine-point Suns lead. And the D just a step slow reacting to the step back. Curry against Beal. Curry can't get it to go. Phoenix has gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. And here's KD for three. And Moody pulls it down. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, we know he's undersized for the position, but Draymond Green does the work of several men, including how he forces the D that time to foul. Draymond Green taking two shots. free throw is good and that brings them within eight and both free throws good for green And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Suns. They've led by as much as 10. A three ball. Drills it from outside. Beal. Beal's three got ball. the lead up to 10 now for Phoenix. Well, Beal loves getting a little wiggle room and then great rhythm on that three. Curry against Beal. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Five to shoot. Fires the three. Rebound by the Suns. Pass to Booker. Back to Beal. Passes it to Okogi. From deep. That one doesn't drop. And it's the Warriors ball. Trailing by 10. Green dishes to Curry. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Curry excellent at reading the defense and taking advantage of any mistake. Third team foul. At the line for the Warriors, Stephen Curry. Two shots. Gets the first, and that brings them within single digits. Yeah, we talk so much about Curry being the best shooter after he makes a three, but there's a lot more to it. I mean, this guy is also the most accurate free throw shooter of all time. So it's pure no matter where it comes from. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And here are the Suns now. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. And there's the pass to O'Neal. Now here's Booker. Let's the three fly. Outside for Beal. Dishes it to Booker. So the Suns win it. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. Thank you, thank you for the mental toughness that this group showed. They, they were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that about wraps it up. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole two.